The following is only intended for mature audiences. This program contains strong language, controversial opinions about controversial people, outrageous guests, and true villainy. If you cannot handle these things, then respectfully, you are a bitch. And this probably isn't the show for you. Your discretion is advised. Welcome back to the Super Villain Show. I go by the name of Injustice, your local super villain. Should I say all the names today? Oh, yeah. A.K.A. the Black Thanos, A.K.A. the Puerto Rican Doctor Doom, A.K.A. Flex Luthor, A.K.A. your auntie's favorite podcast host. Ooh! Ooh! To my left Ooh. is my co-host, my arch nigasis, Quan Ryu, A.K.A. What was, what was, what'd, you, what'd you do? Quan the Conqueror. Quan the Conqueror. That's a tough one right there. That's a tough one. And your auntie's favorite side piece, nigga. Talk your shit. Wait, it's not. We're not the same auntie we're talking about, right? I'm just a side nigga, bro. To my right, (laughs) super producer. I'm gonna pretend like it's not my auntie. Super producer (laughs) JY, aka the Clapper. (laughs) Sir claps a lot. Um. Yeah, we gotta find. (laughs) Nah, because you know you you forgot. You don't know. You gotta find where. Or or you're the clapper. Nah, he's the clapper. You out here, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thanks, thanks, my man. my jacket, my jacket shows, but yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. We're not worrying about that. Right Special now. debut on the pod. Oh, we, we should bring the whole easy. Bro, remember I told I t- I taught you how to how to grab him. You gotta grab him. Yeah, bro. debut on the pod. It's my boy Pac. Was good. Talk to him. Also known as also known as Young Apocalypse. You know what I mean, he's sleeping right now, so you gonna let him chill, but. Yeah, you'll see him on the pod. You just you just flashing the whole world, bro. Oh, yeah, bro, he's probably not. He's booming for real. Yeah, he's tired. But yeah, young Pac is here to take this pod to the next level. Hopefully, he don't get shot with his insightful and controversial. No, no, opinions. no, no, no. I have. I'm the clapper. Okay, I I judge. <laughs> I judge who gets clapped and who doesn't. <laughs> oh, I was confused where he was going with that. Okay, okay, okay. That was good. You know when I make my comic, you know that's gonna be your 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 name, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Citadel of Clappers. <laughs> oh, the oh, Citadel, Citadel of, of Clappers, Clappers is crazy. That is pretty crazy. Shit. What's going on, y'all? Chilling, man. How y'all living, man? Good. Living. <laughs> oh yeah. Before we get into that, before we get into that, you wanna know how I'm living? Before we get into that, everyone knows we we usually have a toast to start the pod. Quan decided to be all mysterious. Oh, He's wow, picking the dude. drink today. What, 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 what you got for us today? What you got, bro? I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh. For my, for my. I'm you know, taking you a million years to open this shit, bro. Come the, on. Let, 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 the, let, let him cook. Let him cook. You know, I respect your heritage and y'all. Oh, boy. He brought Coquito. I know he did. Oh, ah, boy. I knew is it. That pink? Ooh, I knew it. The see. SVS? You know. What is this? No, wait, it's pink. On, it's Coquito. It got cherries in it. It got. It's cherry Coquito? Yo. Yo, closer for the camera. Right? Clapper, clap it up. Damn. Yo, you don't know. Camera. You know what? That's that's a great yeah, surprise yeah, right no, there. I, I, I only do good shit. Yo, pour pour it up, pour it up. That's a great surprise. As you right you as the the kingpin. Pour it. Yeah. All right, all right. Which one? Which I, I, I don't know if it pops up. Let's, let's let's. Yeah, yeah. Be careful, bro. You gotta make sure you angle that shit. Yeah, bro, bro. bro not, to not to me, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> not to me. <laughs> Look, you know how to pop champagne. Imagine this is gonna be a regular ass open watch. That's what I'm saying. I think it is, bro. Yeah, yeah I, think I, I don't know, bro. Yeah, no, I think I think it's fine. You kept it in the fridge the whole time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just gonna right. pop real quick. Nah, let me see that. I don't trust this nigga. Yeah, I trust him more. Yeah, I, f- yeah. I feel like he's more. He got, it, he got. It. Coquito so it's just, man, it's just coquito with cherries in it. Yeah, it's just yeah, coquito. Yeah, pop. Yeah, pop. We're good. Ooh, but you know, we good, we good, we good. Super producer. Don't ask me how I got it. I know it's one of your spicy Latinas that you got on yeah, deck. Show, 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 show. You want me to cut that out? Oh, did we freeze it? I think we free we froze it. No. You got to heat up the coquito. No. 
You should have frozen, bro. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna let it sit. We gonna we gonna let it simmer while we speak speak some facts and some fire real quick. Yeah. Mid pod, we'll go back to the cold. Yeah, that's crazy. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, let me. See. You gotta you gotta snap the the metal part. You know. That, there you go. Yeah. Damn, you. bro. You know this is a great gift though. I, 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 Ooh, you know, slipped down my hand. Careful. Appreciate you, my guy. Co- Co- Coquito Appreciate style. You, I, I thought it would be a. Uh... Yeah, just leave it there. You know, shit, man. I tried, guys. I tried. What's going on? How's life? Good, Good man. You know, yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you look in the sky, right? Oh, and, you, and, and you see, like, man, it's a little gray. But then you see the little, little, the little spaces of blue in between, and you really think that's life. You know, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows, but you have to pick out, decipher the good and all bad. And as long as you do that, you'll forever be happy in this world. Quan, you're reading the wrong script, motherfucker. Oh, those are my lines, you son of a bitch. Shit. Truthfully, you got the wrong script. That was a Johan ass line. I just get the docs. I, I, they ain't not. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Now you, you gotta say some Quan ass shit. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, good everything good. Didn't Quan just, Lance, didn't you just hear what I just said, nigga? I have no idea how to interpret that. Either, I think he means shipping same old same old. It's just a little blots. Where my where my vape at, Nick? Know, Let's get bro. to the nitty gritty. What about you, John? You good? Everything good in life? Man, work. How's the hose? People suck. Feel Explain. You, man. People are fucking dog shit. Mm, dog shit, even. <laughs> People what's, are dog shit. What's, what's Let me tell you on? why. My bad. We have to give. Fox and medicine, he's not, he's not happy with us right now. But uh, <laughs> what, what were we talking about? So I'm just gonna get into at work. Yeah, why people? Be do- I'm not. Dog I'm shit. not gonna go into specifics, right? But all I'm gonna say is, is like, how do you expect me, right? You went to medical school for like ten plus years. How the fuck am I supposed to know who who? How am I supposed to know when to mask up when I haven't been working at a hospital during COVID? Yeah. How do you expect me to fucking know? What you had a P E Q or something? Or like a No, it was a it was a fucking it was a dude who came in mm-hmm. with a ventilator and they had to put him on assisted oxygen. Oh, okay. So yeah. I'm getting his signature, whatever, but like So the way she said it was just like nigga. So you weren't wearing a mask or you were wearing a mask? I was not. Okay. But how am I supposed to know like because yeah, after COVID, you don't have to wear masks, but then there's certain times where people have like airborne That's pathogens. Saying, uh-huh. like, you're supposed to wear a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. So what they like they if if he had a bitch nurse you? or something, yeah. She yeah, said, one uh, of the uh one of the doctors. I mean, yeah. I feel I feel you. I feel you. That that's just how it is sometimes though. I'm sure that doctor's been like probably dealing with like dumb people all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like and that's like, the thing is that like there are some doctors who like don't have that same energy when they're like talking to their staff. Oh, yeah. see, you know see, I, I see I see what you, you mean. You get what I'm saying? Kind of talking like, down to you. Like that's annoying. Like that's that's the whole like like keep the same energy for everybody. Uh-huh. That's what I try to do, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'll I'll explain the other thing that happened to me. Oh yeah, let's, um, let's get into it. Mm, um, so I'm, so there's two, there's in the front and then there's the back. In the back is where the, all the EMS come in or whatever. So I'm really not supposed to be telling this right now because it's job shit. I mean, we can, we, you, uh, do you want to cut it out? Yeah. Okay. We, we can some of it. If you can salvage some of it. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm not going to say specific. Just be vague. Right? Just be yeah, vague. Don't say names. If you don't I'm say names, you're good. No, no, no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying yeah. names, but essentially... I, I like to crack jokes at work. Mm-hmm. That's how I get people talking. Yeah. Right. That's how I like, oh, like how you doing, Dave? Whatever. You know, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And so what's up, Cornelius? You know what I'm saying? Cornelius is crazy. So it's like big name. Yeah. So it's like I go to talk to someone. I'm like, oh, you know, what was up for I was just joking, right? It's like, and it wasn't supposed to be backhanded, but the person took it backhandedly. And I said, this is not what, this is exactly what we're not about to do. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't speak to you all day and we ain't, we ain't talk all day. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what's going on through your mind. What, what did Cornelia but, say? But she didn't, 
He didn't say nothing. Oh. Uh. So I said, this is not what we, we about to do. Yeah. So, ladies, have a good night. And I just walked off. Oh, that's crazy. You got gangster. You got gangster. This is not what we're about to do. I told I told him, I'm like, I'm gonna stop you right there because I know exactly what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And you 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 chose you chose the wrong one, but I'm gonna be nice and I'm I'm not gonna do nothing and I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna walk away. And I did. Shit. Shit. Sometimes you gotta walk away, man. And it was it was respect. It was mm-hmm. respect not only for myself, not only for him, mm-hmm. but for everybody else who was looking. Yeah. Yeah. Because anytime I speak, niggas break their necks. Cause it's like it's a it's a big voice. Mm-hmm. It's a big voice. It's a boisterous voice. Who is this guy? That's Jay Wyre. That's Jay Wyre. There, the clapper, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Wait. What he? What he just call himself? The uh, the leader of the cla- of the clapping citadel. Nah. Yeah. What he just say? The, the yeah, the citadel, the, of, the citadel of clappers. The citadel yeah. of clappers. Now, I'm just trying to find people who like are like minded, and I'm glad that I get to talk to y'all. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm not even. I'm not even trying to be like. Oh. This is. I'm really. I'm really reading off of like Quan script right now. I'm not trying mm. to be like yeah. wishy whatever, but like, it's cool. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I like y'all cool. too, you know. I appreciate that, man. Sometimes I be looking, and I'm like, yo, which one is justice? Which one is, you know? Yeah, I, I do like your, I love your evil twin today. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it here, though. On a completely unrelated note, this is going to be your last time on the pod. <laughs> 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 it was good while it lasted. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, that's pretty oh, funny. Shit. No, bro, nice. but I mean, people really be fucking like testing me sometimes. And, like, justice just and, like, puts like, the ah, testing me, bro. Like, yeah, it's so fucked up. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit, bro. Honestly, man, fuck them. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna be nice at work. You know I mean? If that's how niggas gonna treat me, I'm not gonna be nice at work. That's bro. just how you're gonna have to that's deal the- with, bro. <laughs> Working at a job, there's always not- gonna be niggas ahead of you, yep. and there's always gonna be niggas that know that they're right. ahead of you that are, like, gonna that are gonna to you that talk way. to me that way. Some people are like, just like that, bro. I know. Yeah, like, they, yeah. they're gonna get theirs. You know what I'm saying? Because like, mm-hmm. I didn't spaz on Cornelius because Cornelius dope. Mm-hmm. I even told him, like, Cornelius, you dope, but this is not what we about to do. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, you're always going to have to deal with shit like that. Oh, for sure. I'm definitely worried about that. Starting my new job next week. And that's a that's a valid, like, thing to be worried about, I'm to be honest. I'm messing like, parents, especially cause cause that field, bro. My whole thing is, is that, like, with, with your field, right, and what you got into, uh, I... I don't think that that's like, oh, 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 we might be here for a minute though. Yeah. It's not time yet. But you know what? We be talking today anyway. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, man. It's, it's good. Like, oh yeah. We get, it, it's, we, we it's, it's different with you because it's like, yeah, you can have like certifications and all that. And like, no, just a little bit more than I do, but like. Do you really know what the fuck you're doing? Like no, how much, yeah. how much of your job is like from nepotism? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why with like in like the medical field, mm-hmm. I respect niggas because niggas dead ass went to school for like six, seven, eight, nine, which is ten crazy, years, my which guy. Is a lot of time, bro. Yeah. But at the same time, it's probably why some niggas think that they can talk down to niggas like you because it's like I went, to, I went to school for eight years. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be telling these niggas what to do. But it's just like it's it's right. It. I'm not saying that that's a bad feeling to have. I'm not saying that you should have the confidence. Of someone who went to school eight, yeah. nine, ten years, but like, there's a difference between that and, and arrogance. Like, Confidence and arrogance. arrogance is different, and, and that's it, a perfect. That's a perfect example. But the, of those, the two. thing I think sucks though, like at least in the healthcare, it feels like you get more of the arrogant than you get the ones that's like chill and like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's annoying. Especially bro. the higher they get, like the what? higher they get, the lower the percentage are actually like ten yeah. toes down to earth, bro. Yeah. That's something you see at an early age, bro. Like I feel like even from middle school. You can tell when niggas get a little bit of power, they start acting crazy, bro. They like start even down like different. remember middle school used to get a little fucking like, oh, so uh this nigga's the hall monitor. monitor. Niggas yeah, start tweaking. Like, dickhead. why you run in the hall? Like I'll beat your ass. I'll run over you, nigga. Exactly. Bro. Bro. Here, bro. Like nigga like the niggas like that, you know that's how they're gonna be when they grow up. Or like oh, yeah. everyone's had a fucking annoying manager. You got chill managers, you got annoying managers, you know? Yeah. 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 Some niggas when they get that power, they just like they think they shit, bro. It's like, bro, it's more than life than your job, my guy. I really catch you outside your job. Like, like <laughs> end your life. Facts, bro. It, facts. Listen, man, you're speaking to the clapper right now. You know what I, mean? I don't. I don't think you're you're speaking to fuck around, right, get right. clapped, yeah, nigga. I, I don't think you're speaking to someone who 
doesn't know what, the, what you're talking I got, about. I'm just saying, I understand man, fully what you're nigga. talking sure, about. Sure. Yeah. You better not chill, you better chill out, bro. For I, I call the yeah. Citadel. You you work at healthcare. Shit. You better care for your health and stop talking to me crazy, <laughs> man. You feel me? Feel me? It's one of those. It's one of those every pot. Now. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like a pot now. It's like a pot. Growth. It's like, it's like a pot now. Shit, Growth. Bro. It's that dog. You feel me? I got we got that dog in Growth. us. Now we got the dog with us, it's bro. Yes, mascot. Yeah, bro. Straight up. Yeah, man. It's it's really it's tough because it's like. It's just a mentality thing. People are assholes. That's really what yeah. it is at the end of the day. It's just a mentality thing. Like, yeah, we could boil it down to people who's just being assholes, but it mm. really is a mentality in, like, how you treat your children and how your children look mm-hmm. up to you. Yeah. Because guaranteed, Cornelius' father was like that. Oh, duh. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good point. Cornelius' grandfather was like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you got to break the chain. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's a Look chain of Look at this nigga, like, texting his hoes, not even paying attention. My listen, bad. bro. Yeah, he's I'm taking putting a... I'm putting on he, He's taking a, um, a page off of your script. Yeah, we're all changing... Uh, we're all changing... Uh, you were waiting for me to get on my phone. Yeah, huh? right? <laughs> exactly. We're all, yeah, we're all changing exactly. roles here. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, it's it's just a... Like, you got to yeah. break the chain, whether mm-hmm. or not it's like a mental... Like, a mental shackle, an emotional shackle, mm-hmm. or like an actual like physical, like monetary shackle. But, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I was going to say, I think it's like, I don't know what pod I was talking about. I was like, uh, no matter how much you try to fight being like your parents, it always seems like they'll somehow end up like your parents, even if you don't like in some ways, in sure. some ways, just, just a little in some bit. ways. In some and ways. those are the certain ways, like the mannerisms, even that you're not, oh, like, oh, my mom was a cook. I will never be a cook, but you still got her traits. Yeah. Like, no matter how much you run, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. The traits is instilled in you, bro. Yeah, like, but some people like in situations like that where, like, let's say, like someone had abusive parents, right? Some people they're gonna be abusive to their kids. Yeah, but on the opposite edge of the sword, some people are gonna be like, I, I'm not gonna treat my and let kids. their kids do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then on on some ways, it's like I'm not gonna treat my kids like how I was treated. It's like mm-hmm. it. That's like what you're talking about is like the true duality of man. Like, that's the actual duality of man. What is this podcast, bro? No, I'm being so serious. No, 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 I want I, I want to have you on that podcast. Just I, I'll tell you I, later the idea of it, but you gonna fuck with it. It's, yeah, well, it's, it's some Johan we're, we're, type we're, shit. We're, we're gonna cook. It's some Johan type shit. We're, we're but cook. um, J yeah. J Way J Y the the prod. This is what we're working up to. Wow, J Y the prod. Yeah, but um, yeah. Other than people being assholes, you good? Yeah, man. How's everything with you though? Yeah, pretty good, bro. Pretty good. Got a new pup. That's always good. That nigga do not care about us, bro. Yeah, he he he's big slump right now. He's kind of a vibe though, if you ask me. Yeah, but yeah, I've been chilling, bro. Mentally preparing for my new job. Yeah, bro, it's, it's mental fortitude is needed in the real world, bro. That's what they don't teach you. They don't they teach don't. you that in like taxes and shit. Let me stop. Let's get into the actual like <laughs> taxes. <laughs> yeah. Nigga talking about taxes. taxes. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of excited for uh taxes. No, 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 definitely not. But uh, well, tax return. But hey. I don't know what the dress code going to be, but if it's like business casual, I'm kind of excited to get my work fits off. Just buy a Miri suit. And- a Miri suit? Where do you think I'm about to work, nigga? Nah, Miri but yeah, I'm, I'm a, you know. Yeah. Y'all know I be super cozy all the time. Yeah. You know Hoodies, you do? sweats, Uggs all the time. So it's going to be a change of pace, bro. You got to wear the Canadian tuxedo, bro. Damn. You know what the that is? full denim on the denim on denim. denim on denim on denim on denim think, shirt. I don't think that's business casual. White <laughs> shirt. I think that's just casual. I, I, I think it. I think they'll be judgmental if they said it wasn't. Ooh, yeah. Because your you're, family's from Canada and that's how you grew up. Damn. You're crazy. No, I mean, it's going to be a change of pace, though. Me wearing khakis. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you got you got Shirts. that finally. Yeah, yeah. They got you wear like hoodies or not? I, I don't I don't know. I'm gonna find out. They got like a food court. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. So what you do is right. You keep getting chicken until you like finally get like a raw piece of chicken. Then you sue them. That's a good plan. That is a good plan. That's gonna take you a long time though. But man, once yeah. you get that raw chicken, you got millions in the bank, nigga. I'm gonna be working in the city though, so food I don't think is gonna be the problem, bro. No. He going straight to Canes. I think time. I do work by one of the Canes. God damn. I think I work. It's like five blocks away. This, this, I'm, I'm yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll you. scoop you. We'll, we'll take the yeah, path real quick. Just go, I'll like, scoop yeah. you. We'll take the path. We'll meet you in the in the city, bro. 
I don't wear it. It's about to be the vibes. But yeah, other than that, you're good, bro. You know? Any any lings in your way? What's lings? Any, any bad lings around you, bro? Got any little 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 mom pajamas? Little, 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 little. They're always around, bro. They're Talk always around. Shit, my They're guys. always around. That's bro. why you got the curls out right now. Do they do they approve the curls? Has the council approved I've, the I've curls? No way they don't. I've I've gotten good reviews. You've gotten good reviews. I've gotten good there reviews. You go. Pull your hair yet? Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Um, I've gotten good reviews. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. (laughs) Um, but yeah, shit been good, bro. Kind of demasculates you a little bit, right? (laughs) (laughs) Kind of hurts a little bit, bro. Just like, damn. It's like a wait. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel, yeah, I want bro. Because I, 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 I want to crack. We, we just start okay. talking. We talk, and then this shit just busts on his leg. Pause. Whoa, Yo, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Where that shit from? This nigga wilding. Oh my god, I gotta find I mean, uh frames to ha- hang them shits up. So, talking about right hanging, there, bro. talking about hanging. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I don't know where. Whoa, I don't know, I don't know what the segue is leading whoa. to. Today, <laughs> to, today is the 10 year anniversary of, of a good friend of mine, Chris, and uh, his family. Damn. And I just want to say, RIP. Where the fuck did this come from? That was the saddest segue I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. That was. Yo, I feel so bad your friend laughing. Chris. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, oh, oh. why is this funny to you? Because oh, I don't know what Chris. <laughs> oh, so that was all just cap. You, you, you made up a nigga hanging himself for the content. You're a sick freak. <laughs> okay, you yeah. disgust me. He's, you remember I he's told back, you about? He's back to his old script now. Remember I told you about sometimes. You can't take shit back. <laughs> so like you only double down. Oh yeah, on yeah, it yeah. And, and that's that that stayed on the internet. You know, forever. I mean, Chris ain't a real person, so like, shout out to Chris. <laughs> you know, stay alive, Chris. Shout out to his imaginary. If you friend, want Chris. to, his his dead imaginary. Friend. Right, I keep, even keep, know imaginary friends can die. Keep, keep, let's, let's be right here. Let's be right here. Let's be real. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah. it's not nah, for real, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> You know how, like, if you try to kill yourself, like, you can go to jail or some dumb shit like that? No. You know that? Like, like you'll get in trouble? Like, you'll get... Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. No, I think you're talking about, like, North Korea. Like, if you try to kill yourself. No, 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 no. Here, bro. Bro, look no. it up. No. You won't even look it up. It's kind of crazy. <sighs> niggas try to kill themselves every job, day, bro. Yeah, bro. Niggas don't go to jail for that. But Because most of the time, niggas could accomplish killing themselves. Nah, bro. They go to... They might send you to, like, a... Psychiatric hold. That's still in my eyes is fucked up, bro. If the nigga want to die, let them die. Truthfully, it's kind of fucked up how that was. That was a like a storyline in the Incredibles, which is a kids movie. The nigga tried to kill himself. Yeah, Mister Incredible saved him. He was like, "Why don't you let me die?" That's the start of the movie, and that's the realest shit ever. Was I right? Yeah, no, because they they um, yeah. Is it like only certain? Is like certain like situations, or is this just how it is? This is the Monta- Montana Free Press that works. So maybe it's by state. It could be by state. I think it might. It may be by state. They didn't want to go to jail. Um, they just wanted somebody to talk to. That's uh, someone reached out to nine one one about a depression call. Oh, that's just someone who uh, called. That's the just cops. one situation. I don't know, man. Maybe I brought this up for no reason. I thought I was going to lead to somewhere. But, no, you know, I mean, it, you, it, you, it could you, definitely be state by state. But I always, I just thought, like, that's so... Fu- Even, like, getting sent to, like, a psych ward is so fucked up, bro. Yeah. Like, because, yeah, that's definitely going to make them feel better. Dumbass. Yeah, videos. it's, like, the worst way to, like, <laughs> go about... Did you know, in Portugal, I'm pretty sure it's either Portugal or it's Spain. They had a very big, like, opioid epidemic. Don't they And all? they... No, but hear me out. But what they did was is they, they took the police... The police, like like the, uh, what is it? Like you know the precincts, mm-hmm. they gutted them and they turned them into um, into rehab facilities. Oh shit! So what they would do is they wouldn't arrest you for using once. They would say, if you're a recovering addict, like if you do this send again, to the, uh, we're gonna have to send you there. So they give them a chance. That's they reasonable. They give them a chance, yeah. and the rehab facilities are actually like not that bad. Mm-hmm. It's like living in a dorm room that's mm-hmm. like not. 
in America at all. And oh, like, so like how fed so, so the rich people re- like rehab exactly that they go to. It's, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is, and it, damn, it, it very mel- very well may be like that. Yeah, but I don't know about damn. that country's like specific how they work. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. I say our rehab facilities are bad because they want us to be strong out on drugs because most drugs are government made. Mm. Yeah, like have you seen those uh this this trend on TikTok? It's like uh. This chick talking about how she doesn't like store bought pesto. You seen that shit? And then it's just yeah. people saying like, "Oh yeah, that's really crazy." And then they say like wild stories about like their lives and shit. Shorty was talking about how <clears throat> I guess she had like a I guess she like wasn't well behaved, and her parents sent her to like these like it's like uh, behavioral conversion camps, and like they wouldn't drug her, but like it was fucked up, bro. Like a lot of these private like facilities. Mm-hmm. It ain't much better. Like they're definitely mistreating you. You know what I mean? Like it, it it's it's kind of fucked up. Like my job now, my my old job. I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm like, whoa, this is a crazy. Uh... Not not the no no not not the one I'm starting. The one I like currently have that I'm leaving. Um, y'all know I take care of my aunt, right? Yeah. And we were talking about like alternatives and shit. And we were talking about like putting her somewhere. But you can't always trust, trust yeah. you know, because they might like you know mistreat her or some shit like that, bro. I have it. You gotta got be real story. careful with that. Yeah, I have a story. It's 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 already like built in, like that. I don't know exactly what happened, but essentially, uh, this woman who was paralyzed, um, she, and I read this on a newsletter. I read this on a newsletter. She got a medical newsletter at that. Um, <laughs> he goes to the pie. He goes. He just slowly, slowly get more depressed about the pie. <laughs> Pissing me off, bro. bro. Um, just one tear come out his but, eye. So essentially, what 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 happened was is that this woman was paralyzed, forty year old woman. Mm. So the people who, because there's like nurse assistants, so they go in and out and in and out. Turns out they went to do an ultrasound, right? Because they wanted to check if everything was fine, routine. She was with child. And the people going in and out taking care of her one on one had done the R word. That's that's terrible, bro. Had done the R word. Damn. That's fucking terrible. And she had to imagine that. You have to carry the baby to term because you can't That's so terrible. You can't bro. That's so terrible. Now how you expect the, the child to live like that, bro? Yeah. That child's gonna be evil as fuck. Probably. That child is going to be so fucked up in the head that, like, how do you... Yeah. Bro. This is a depressing start to the pod. And yeah. I blame you. It yeah. started with your Chris, imaginary oh, friend. Really, yeah. It started with your imaginary with Chris, friend, Chris. No, That's when like, it all went no, down. But, oh, I mean, wow. shit really crazy, though. I mean, like, like to your point, Justice, like, it, it really yeah. is scary. It's a real scary fucking thought, but... God damn it. We gotta pour some of this fucking coquito or else. Is Woo! it ready? Fucker. I think it's, it's starting to move now. I yeah, I, th- I think it might be ready. It's, it's oh, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I think it's yeah, ready. Yeah, it's like my girl. Girl don't sound like nothing, bro. Oh, wait. <laughs> what is that? How do you know what that sound is? That's crazy. <laughs> girl don't sound I'm like to, nothing. I, what like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, think, I think that's the shit you told me. It was like, uh, it was like, if she's talking, you're in trouble. If she's yeah. breathing, you're in trouble. <laughs> and if she's not breathing, you're yeah, really in trouble. Like a, like a it's, 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 it's the cherry, right? It's the fucking cherry that's in here, bro. Like, I got you. I got you. You got to, you know, don't. Please, take it off of your key ring. Chill, bro. Just, just, just let me take it back real quick, bro. Yeah, I just want to get to go. Well, I think finally, like, once we get the Coquito open, we can really start. That's what I'm saying, bro. Because it, it's just, I don't mean to be negative nigga and all that. Oh, oh, that looks so wrong. Oh, good. man. Good. Oh, that looks so wrong. man. You know, I, you know, be alive, right? You know, face life saving. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not cooking now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. cooking now. Yeah. All right, y'all. Toast, toast, everybody. The coquitos ready. We can, we can finally pod. Cheers. Wait, 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 wait. wait. To go. success. Success. Villainy. And many more opportunities. Ooh, I like that. Wait, Shannon, every time we choose.
better fucking you better you better watch the pod. That's, you hear me? You better so watch good. the pod on YouTube. That's so good, bro. You better watch the pod on you you now you you can watch it on Spotify. They got video. <sighs> That's so good, bro. She made this with her pussy, I can tell. <laughs> no! If her pussy tastes like this, I need a <laughs> No! No! This is too good, this bro. This is good, bro. This is... Yo, you need, yo, we need to do an interview, bro. I'm serious about that, IG. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We need to do an interview, bro. Shit. <laughs> I might need two bottles from her. I'm not going to lie. Shit. And her IG. Okay. Yeah, this is valid. Shit. All right. Coquito is, is, is yeah. fire. SVS Coquito. Now let's get to... Let's get to the bread and butter. Let's get to these topics, man. Shit. All right. It's about to be an empire for real, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm jealous, bro. So, first things first, Snoop Dogg gave up weed for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest troll I've ever seen. Yeah, so, bro. Uh, was it you that sent it in the, in the pod I'm chat? I'm sure I, I sent it and I was like, there's you no You sent way. it, bro. And right away, I was like, bro, that's cap. I thought it was true. Yeah, so you, so you thought it was true? Yeah, why, I, was like, why? I was just like, okay, it makes sense. I mean... I knew that shit was cap. I was like, it's cap unless he has like a uh, illness. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Then I, yeah. Then I hope it's cap. Um. And then it ended up being like a marketing strategy for like a fucking yeah, company. like a, a, like a fucking fire pit, yeah. like like a smokeless fire W rollout. Pit. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, being honest, because because you got all these niggas like Meek Mill was like, yeah, I'm giving up smoke. Yeah, bro. Now what he gonna do? You still gonna give it up? He's gonna be in the second commercial. Niggas be followers for real. He's gonna be in the second commercial. See that that that's W rollout. But now you just a follower. Wiz should be next. Cause cause now nah, Wiz was like nah. Cause only cause God <laughs> God knows that some people really gave up smoking. Wow, like he's a he's my idol. He didn't stop smoking. Oh, no. you got played, bro. Smoking is that nigga's identity. You know what now, I mean? Now I think you you a L person if you like yo Snoop Dogg stop smoking. I'ma stop smoking. Yeah, bro. you weird, bro. Yeah, facts, you real facts, goofy. Facts. facts, bro. Facts. That's why you always have to like check yourself before you wreck yourself. Nah, just do whatever you want to do, man. Look, look. I'm hey. I'm not a crackhead, but if I saw a crackhead, I'm not gonna tell a crackhead stop being a crackhead. Facts. This is not my life to live. It's not my life to live. They also probably not gonna fucking listen to you anyway. Yeah, like <laughs> so, and like, yeah. and why everybody always want to change someone? You know? Yeah. But I think the fact that like literally it's, it, it was literally part of like his identity, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. his whole character is the nigga who smokes, you know. Like, so bro, he's got an album called The Chronic with Dr. Dre. Are you fucking kidding? That's just Dre's album. Is it really? He's on it just, though. He's he's on a lot of it, but he's yeah, on a that's lot just, of it. <laughs> that's that, that would have been like Ronald saying, Oh no, I stopped liking kids. Ronald? The fuck is Ronald that's not his name? Who you talking about? Kelly Cows. Isn't it like Cornelius or some shit? You talking about R. Kelly? Yeah. Robert. 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 Yeah, you Robert. fucked it up, bro. You fucked Robert. it up. Nigga. You fucked it up. Because that, that's what you get for... Keep, you keep bringing up R. Kelly on this podcast, bro. R. R. Kelly draws numbers, weirdly enough. R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. And they got one common denominator. But my buddy... No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that because Michael Jackson's estate has cleared it up, okay? And he never touched kids, Okay. McCallum, McCallum, McC- Macaulay Culkin, Mc- 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 Kelly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Macaulay Home Alone, Culkin. yeah, Home Alone ass nigga, he didn't get touched. He, he was definitely alone with. He wanted to touch his. his he used to sleep in like Michael's bed. He wanted to that touch is his, crazy though. Yeah, I just think Michael Jackson was a weird nigga. I mean, even if he didn't touch those kids, why are you sleeping in the bed with kids that aren't your kids? Yeah, that's true. That's right. <laughs> You're See, so right. I just yeah, think he's weird. weird. It's weird. Yeah, he's a weird nigga, bro. Would you, would he's, you a, he's a legend, but he's he's weird. Would you say it's almost as weird as like quitting smoking because Snoop Dogg posted something on Instagram? Definitely. Well, or no, it's not weird? as weird. I think it's weirder. It's weirder, right? I think it's weirder. Imagine a nigga today did that. He would not get the same. Like, a, like imagine. Let me let me try to think. The baby think sleeps with babies. Perfect. Imagine the baby was sleeping with the babies. Yeah. Are you gonna believe he wasn't touching them? 
That's a crazy statement. I think I think it has to do with whether or not someone looks black. Damn. Because Michael Jackson had vitiligo and started looking white later in his career. So that's why people were like, there's no way he would have done it. So you're saying like if g Easy was sleeping with kids, niggas wouldn't care? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, he's just, you know, he's a good guy. Damn. He just really likes kids. Yeah. He likes picking kids up and He'll, he'll be them. a perfect father. So you think that like... Look, look, look. What? Okay, who's the football dude who be kissing his kids, bro? Be bugging me out, Tom bro. Tom Brady. Yo, you need, nigga need to stop. <laughs> and no one talks about it, though. I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one... Like, this isn't covered by the news outlet for a reason. Yeah. But also, at the same time, Lil Wade was kissing Birdman. Yeah, no. Birdman. And I know, like, oh, here, Dad and Wanda. Birdman. Like, Bird like, don't throw it on Wayne. Birdman was kissing Wayne. That nigga was kissing him back. I mean, that's who's giving him his money. I ain't, I ain't gonna be kissing. Nah, you don't know what Lil Wayne did for that deal. Look, See, man. Look, look. This if, is not if, what. This if he's not kissing what we're gonna him, do. If he's kissing okay. Birdman in public, like this is not. This is not what we're gonna do. Okay? Imagine what he did in private. This is, a, this is a legend we're talking. And then about, think what right? Drake did to Wayne. This is this is a you want. And then all think the what smoke. Nicki did to Lil I think, Wayne. I Stop. think. I, listen, you want all the smoke, and I want none of it. I'm on the podcast because mm-hmm. I fuck with you guys. Mm-hmm. Don't you know, fucking put me in a predicament. Cash he, 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 he don't was. put me in a predicament where he's like, "Yo, I'll pay you five million dollars to kill Quan." La, la, don't put me in that why, position. Why, why would you do it? Don't put me. I am the fucking clapper. You say you gonna get clapped for that five? Okay, million. so look, look, look. I, I'll, I'll. It's a life changing amount fa- of money. I'll face turn five it up. Times. I'll face turn it up. So yeah, even though you know sometimes you might just sell your booty for a deal, you always gotta look at the bright side and all of it. And look at the success that Drake, Wayne, and Nicki Minaj made. So maybe giving up the cheeks was for the best of the both worlds. Maybe without giving up the cheeks, look where we would be at. We wouldn't have no good music. Well, also so wait. So okay, no, go ahead. So Birdman come up to you say five million to kill Quan. You're not doing it. No, he says he's a the clapper. I think that means he's gonna do it, I, dude. That money would change my life mm. ten times. Cause you really only realistically, you only need like half a mil to like do like certain investments and like buy a house. Yeah. A house is not gonna cost you half a mil. It shouldn't. And if you are, you're in the This is a long place. ass answer to say yes, he would kill me. Yes, I would fucking I would, I would say yes, you. But hear me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what I'm doing, right? Because you would do the I'm same a, thing. I'm going I'm to agree. I'm going to agree. I'm going ha- to ask for the half, the 2.5 up front. Then I'm going to come to you. We're going to make a little scheme. We're going to take some pics of you getting decapitated. We'll get, I'm we'll get, get a, Britney Griner. I'm going to get a makeup we'll artist. kill Britney Griner. See, see, you have to take it. You have to take it. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. I wasn't going to go with the Britney Griner. See, I, what I was going to say is get a make, uh, get like a graphic designer. Yeah, let's not actually kill people. Yeah. Get, get like a replica head of you. Yeah. Bring back the head. Get the other and then we split, you know, four million. Cause see, I'm a million. real sleaze ball, so I already know if I'm Jay Z or wait, who do you say, Lil Wayne? I'm offering hit money. What's really gonna happen is you're gonna kill me, and Lil Wayne's gonna tell the cops that you killed me. He's gonna take out two birds and one stone. Yeah. He's gonna take out two bird mans with one stone. Yeah. Knee slapper, bro. That, that was a good one. <laughs> That was a good one. You were we're, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I, I can tell you were real proud of that one. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and talking about birds, let's talk about Toronto's owl Drake. Oh my god! Oh, oh! Okay. you like layup? Okay, okay. You like the layup? Yeah, that was a good layup. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm a layup type of nigga. Yeah, okay. You, you, I got you. Yeah, you, you want to get straight into the, into the? We had more topics though. That was the only thing. <laughs> Uh, but but that was a I didn't want to ruin your segue. I wanted to give you your moment. But that was a good segue. It was a good segue. It was a good segue. Even though you interrupt, I was about to say my segue. Oh, damn. But, you went to your se- but it was a good segue. Okay. You 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 he's giving you credit. He's getting he's getting he, he's getting better. He's getting there. He's we getting just there. have to control like when yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. No, you you had the right time for it, right? Mm-hmm. But you you gotta wait until there's like Really nothing like until it was justice, the right time, but it wasn't the right time. Right. You know what I mean? Like justice will wrap up a talking a yeah. topic being like, you know, RIP, you know, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, final yeah, thoughts yeah. on blah, blah, blah. And then you, you hit it. You know yeah, what I mean? We didn't even have much to say, but like, there's like, there's only two more, but like, this, this is what I was going to do. Right. Like we're talking about Birdman getting hits on niggas. And I was going to transition to Diddy getting hits on niggas and transition to the Diddy Cassie shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now yours was good though. Your, your yours was tough. Wait, bro, we're getting talking into about that? birds. Let's talk about Cassie. <laughs> um, this nigga trying to get that last sherry. 
Uh, is he using the pin? Let him rock. Let him rock. All right. All right. <clears throat> so let's talk about this Diddy Cassie situation. Cassie uh, filed charges on Diddy. Uh, accused him Ooh. of, I think it was like abuse and like rape. Oh yeah, it was all types of shit. You heard he was making her fuck uh, male prostitutes. Yeah, that's yeah why he watched right some shit like that. Yeah, some crazy shit. And it was settled the next day. You uh, know that? Nah, nigga. The literal next day it was settled. And what was the settle? They just settled uh, mm-hmm. an anonymous amount of money. So, so he did that shit for sure. Yeah, he, all right. All this is allegedly, right? If I right, bro, I right, bro, Coquito's over, man. No, bro, it probably you, sound crazy what you're doing yeah, right now. Yeah, bro, it probably sound like you're clapping cheeks right now. You should, <laughs> like, you should probably bro. stop. You should probably this stop, is crazy. You look, stop, look, look, you're making that sound. We're telling you stop, but you yeah, keep yeah. going. That looks that sounds Yo, crazy. Stop, bro. God damn, it's just a cherry, bro. No, bro, it's not just. See that sounds like, wrong though, because he's making a cloud noise like yo, he, he, this is how he's popping a cherry. You know what I mean? It's the culmination of the drink. Yo, it's all right. All right. It's look, the look. apex. It's the apex. See, there's two sides you can look at it because on one side it's like if you if let's say you believe that he didn't do that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he just didn't want the rumors to keep going. Like he tried to kill it before but it started. Cassie, it was the, the next day. So it, it kind of makes it seem like she was only doing that for the bread. Strictly for the bread. Like, but at the same time, the fact that the charges were were made, I feel like he did something. Yeah. There, like, there, yeah, I, like I, maybe I, she started gassing. With yeah. Me. And on top of that, there's been a lot of rumors about Diddy doing years. that shit. Like, <clears throat> um, there was a rumor that, uh, there's a rumor now circulating that like. Heard about his sex parties? Yeah, there's rumors about the sex parties. There's rumors that uh, uh, his ex-wife died recently. And they said that before she died, she was working on a book that was going to expose Diddy. Shit. Yeah, and the, the, there's a rumor circulating now that, like, uh, it was about Wale, that Wale was, like, in the studio with Cassie, and Diddy came in, and, like, his bodyguards, like, dangled him off a balcony. Shit. Crazy shit, bro. D- Diddy seemed like, like a fucking villain. For real, for real. And speaking about Diddy, let's talk about someone that knows he's a villain. Let's talk about Toronto's Iowa Drake. <laughs> you, see, I don't see, think you can look, reuse it. Look, look, nah, you see, you don't. That was a double hitter. You see, he don't realize that was a double hitter right there. Diddy punched Drake in a club, so that's why I says speaking about someone who knows about Diddy being a villain. Let's talk about. Then I just double back how exactly how I said it. It, it was kind of fire, low key. It was. This low key. Is, this thing is excited to talk about that new Drake. <laughs> not really, not. Nah. He's excited to talk about that new Jersey. I think the, since the, we're the talking about Diddy, God. Since, the, since there's <laughs> Diddy. <laughs> Yo, bro, that's his name, bro. It's not that funny, bro. More like, more that's like, his name, bro. More like 6 9 God. Fucking Damn, bro. That, that, that was it. That was bad. Can clap. <laughs> Strike one. Yeah, that, was, that just wasn't it, John. Oh, well, we're really flipping yeah, Strike right now. one. Yeah, see, you, the, the Birdman one was good. That one just. Uh, look, 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 look. I think since we're talking about Diddy, we're talking about the fucked up shit he did. It's all there's one other successful black man in the news right now about the weird shit he's been doing. We've talked about him multiple times on the pod before. He might have some sexual encounters with some other famous um, actor. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. So, so apparently, someone in the Will Smith and Jada camp came out oh, and said, "Oh, yes, yes, yes." He walked in on uh, who's the actor? Yeah, bro. Malcolm, 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 Malcolm. Nah, nah uh, Dwayne Martin. Dwayne Martin <sighs> giving that nigga back shots. Yeah. Who and, back shots? And he said he got the facts it to who, prove it. Give it who back shots? I don't want to see the facts. I don't want to see the facts. Yeah. So in the video, it's crazy because like. <laughs> El, and Jada replied by saying we suing. Yeah. yeah so yeah. So th- th- this this dude, I guess he used to work with Will Smith, came out and he said that. uh Yeah. Yeah, do you know who Dwayne Martin is? Dwayne Martin's the husband or former ex husband of uh, Tisha Campbell. Yeah, not Pam, right? Uh, it's Gina. Uh, Gina. There we go. And the dude said that he walked in, and Dwayne, the way he said it is wild, bro. He's like, and he was giving him back shots hard. hard. I'm just like, all right, bro, you ain't got to do all that, bro. He was like, he was going in. I'm like, yeah. all right, nigga. He relax. was at the way he said it is like he was Damn. concerned. 
right, all right. The Coquito should, got oh, this thing yeah, acting yeah. wild. We good, yeah. we good, bro. We good, we good. Are we? <laughs> Oh Yo, my god! Stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> bro! It's just funny, bro. You gotta, you gotta have props, bro. You know what? I'm the, gonna have the prop. The jerking off prop is disgusting, bro. It's not a, it's a, it's a clapping cheeks prop, bro. There's three men in here. You acting real Will so, Smith. So anyway, you acting real Will Smith. Back to, back to guy on guy action. <sighs> wow, this is just a weird pod, bro. Oh, um, I really want the fucking cherry in here, bro. You look at your shirt, bro. You're doing all this. <laughs> this thing got shit all this thing acting like a little kid, bro. Um fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fuck, Maybe man. the Coquito wasn't a smart That's thing. Why to I bring. never I never wear white shirts. That's but yeah. Why. Allegedly, uh Will Smith was he was getting his <laughs> This is a crazy <laughs> Bro, he's making a clap. We talk about Will Smith getting fucked in the ass. It is it's just, it's just Please, whoever made Diddy this. Diddy don't beat his bitch can up. You, can you just cut the, the cherries in half next time? Well, oh, cut them into quarters, please. <laughs> this is so cursed. <laughs> this is so cursed. Okay. All right. We're back. Are we? We're back. I think it's up to you right now. No, no, no. We're back. We're back. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to be talking about, like, ah. low-key. All you're going to hear is fucking blah, 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 blah. Y'all facts, bro. <laughs> all right. All right. Can we talk about Will Smith? Getting Would you like to hear the rest? <laughs> sure. I think that was all of it. Oh yeah, and Jada was like, you know, that's not true, and we're suing, you know, which usually means it's true, and we're suing. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. So if Diddy really did it, that means that he went all the way. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. If Diddy really did it, right, and he settled out of court, now you have Will Smith and Jada Pick and Smith. Mm-hmm. Settling probably out of court. Yep, definitely. So that means that he really did. He really is a cuck. He really he is the cucky, and he is he's the cucked. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he he gets fucked. Yeah, by big black donk. See, and he well, also well, watches. Like, first of all, see, we see, see, <laughs> he it's, 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 it's that, never been recorded. That. His, that. his width <laughs> or his length, <laughs> so we don't know what he packing. But yes, he likes to get fucked. Allegedly, yeah, throw that in there. No, yeah, allegedly. allegedly. But a lot of y'all favorite allegedly. people like to get fucked, so let's really talk about it. What do you mean favorite? people? Do we have to? What let's really talk favorite? about it. A lot of y'all favorite, favorite, favorite people. Okay, don't, wait, don't, wait, 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 wait. Is it, isn't so, your girlfriend your favorite person? Don't do that. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Don't do that. I'm just saying. Don't do that. We're going uh, down the road. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why you're wrong. I don't want to go down. I'll tell you why you're wrong. I'll tell you why you're wrong. Because I don't even want to go there right now. All right. I don't care I'll, I'll, that you broke her elbow. Th- this is this is what we're gonna uh-huh. do. I, we're gonna we're gonna establish some order in this podcast. It's going different the places, ca- so we're gonna say that all the thing order, all the things that are have allegedly been done. That's allegedly. If it's true, you niggas is wilding, right? And yeah. I don't put it past extremely rich people like Diddy and Will Smith to do things like this. Do, actually. It's whoa, the, whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, why did you say do things like this? What do you mean? You pointed at me, which I do not <laughs> like. That was crazy, bro. <laughs> like, what? I don't know what you do in your personal life. But exactly. What? I can't. Look, like look, look, this look. Is- Niggas like Diddy and Will Smith and Quan are terrible people, allegedly. Okay? And for totally different reasons. <laughs> Thank you. But Thank I'll leave you. it there. <laughs> I'll leave it there. It's kind of fucked up that I'm bunching them together because, like, Diddy, like, it was supposedly, like, abusive and, like, a, like a R word. Will Smith just got fucked. He's just gay. <laughs> He's just gay. So, like, it's okay to be gay. So, so Diddy, apparently, there was a lot of people, like, in the Instagram comments, right, and you know, on, like, Twitter comments being, like, he... He he um he he would perform it was sexual acts but they were actually rituals so you what they what he would do is he would he would extrapolate he would extract the the essence the mm. sexual essence of men and women in order to empower himself that's fire though that's shut the fuck up this is not something to be joking about okay this is a very real thing you you know about comics right that happens it's not it's like good. brother brother blood but it's like brother clum come you know I mean like. Same shit, bro. That you take. I'm not co-signing this. But you, you get what I'm, I'm saying, though. You know, brother, blood, right? All right, look, look, look. I think we should move on. 
I think we should move on. All again, all this is allegedly. Don't sue us. It's all allegedly. Imagine we got sued. Bro. That's why I said allegedly. All of that whole combo allegedly. All right, move on. <laughs> Last topic before we get into the music. Let's talk about glory holes. Because <laughs> so episode. Let me let me let me add some context. Let me add some context. Yeah, bro. Let me ask, let me spring some context. Let me spring some context on here because because uh, episode two. A uh, villain vlogs is out now. Super Villain Studios, go oh go check that out. Um, did y'all did y'all watch it at all? No, no bro. Right okay, no. so that you was at a uh, DreamCon, right? Yeah, there's that is the the vlog of my Austin trip back in August, and I put a small part of it in, but pause. But <laughs> there was Fact a convo you. that we had that I got on camera that I could not put in the vlog for obvious reasons. All right, we got to take this bottle from this guy, bro. This dude is fiending Enough, for this bro. fucking cherry, You'll get the bro. cherry later, bro. Chill. What's yeah. <laughs> up with this now, guy? Now, it was too, a little too explicit for the vlog, but this is a super villain show. Yep. So we're going to talk about it. So I wanted to ask y'all, do y'all think going to a glory hole is gay? I, I because just think that, like, hella gay. Thank you. That's it. Hell again. Because you don't know if it's a man or a woman. Right. That means you just like the sensation no matter what it is. Exactly. That means like you, you with whatever. If you go into a glory hole, you with whatever. And also, no matter what, it is just also, put it this way. What do you see besides on your side, a bunch of niggas? Also, wait, wait, no, hold on. Actually, right. The real problem is, right. You can fuck whoever you want to. I'll co-sign that. Yeah. Just don't fucking I agree, involve I agree. me. Don't involve me. <laughs> that is the I don't want to fucking statement. hear about anything mm-hmm. about uh, you eating your girlfriend's. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Okay, I will say that. That was the next. That's topic, my John. baseline. That's my baseline. Yeah, right? well, how do you That's eat my the pussy, Joe? Huh? But but I will I will say I got off track just now. You guys got me off track. Okay, so I agree with you. I'm not saying going to a glory hole is wrong. I'm not saying being gay is wrong. Okay, I do got what it. you got to do. He's just saying is I'm going saying to a glory hole is gay. And going I think to it a is. glory hole and not knowing what's on the other side and still putting your dick in. And getting your oh, dick this, no, this is a better thing. I gay. say you going to a glory hole and saying you're completely straight is questionable. Is it like yeah. is it like Schrodinger's box? Yeah, exactly. You don't know whether what are, what you're gonna get mm-hmm. right. And the problem is, it's not. And you're with the risk, but and you can you can you fuck can't. and that's the risk. The risk yes. is what I was going to fucking talk yeah. about. You don't know whether or not those people have yeah. a chlamydia. Oh, damn. Fucking, you took a whole different risk. Yeah, no. Cl- a chlamydia. Fucking. Um, or if they the have clap, a penis. Yes. Or, <laughs> or if they have a penis, John. That's the point, bro. Like, no, I know. I understand. It's, it's, it's like that, but you right. can't open the box. Exactly. It, the point is not opening the box, so you don't know. Hush, hush means you're probably gay if you go to a loyal. Because. Probably. Just go. Like, just go get your dicks about a regular shoddy, bro. Glory hole is weird. Not even just gay. This is weird. Yeah, it's, I, I'd it's, rather it's have like, you do tr- run a train on someone. Yeah. I think I'd rather have yeah. a threesome. No, I, I think I'm being honest. I think I'd rather have a threesome. Two guys, one girl? Because at least I know the guy. I le- yeah, I guess that answer. Is, at least, you know, <laughs> at least I know the guy, yeah. right? Or I know the two girls. But I'm not sticking my dick into something that has a box-shaped ass. Yeah, well, what, if it's, what if it's not even either? What if it's right. like a dog? What? <laughs> you don't know. What if it's like? What if a, it's a woman, but it's, she's like ninety-five years old with no teeth? Oh, that probably feels crazy. Might be fire. <laughs> All right, but still, going to a glory hole. So wait, so wait, just so sucks. justice, so justice. Are you? Are you? Gay? No, I've never been to any, one. If anything, you were just like old oh, ladies. Yeah, I was saying a ninety-five year old lady with no teeth might, you know. <laughs> You never know because, like, she might have dementia. She don't know where she is. She having a flashback. She to did she the problem a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, and then, like, she I, come, I, she come I, to I, and see that the dick is black and start tw- tweaking, but it don't matter because it's over already. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> crazy, my guy. All right, this is the worst pod ever. <laughs> this is a terrible pod. Whoa, what is going on? Y'all all acting like previous. Welcome, welcome to a welcome to fresh and super villain. Yeah, the coquito. Yeah, I got y'all niggas acting different, bro. I'm the only one fresh acting normal. Super- that's because you ain't drink yours, bro. It's still there. Yeah, maybe it. Maybe it is a psychedelic coquito. <laughs> That's crazy. And she spiked your shit with mushrooms or some shit. Don't drink it like milk. She knows what I like. Damn. 
Uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, the glory hole. Um, You're talking so, about glory holes. Let's so wait, talk wait, wait, about wait. the the short glory of Drake's career. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, so <laughs> so wonderful segue, right? You really you're beating a fucking dead horse with an aluminum bat right now. What? I just want to let you know. What? But I want to say off record, I really hope that this woman did not put any juices in this coquito because that would be so absolutely unequivocally fucked. Wait, whoa, what kind of juices? Like, like pussy like juices? Pussy juices I'd be shit. okay with that. And like <laughs> and like titty milk. <laughs> is that weird? Yeah, it's weird. It's not. Why? Yeah, thank you. Why is it weird? It's natural. Because no, it's not natural because people would like women would be like, "Oh, let me cook for you." And it's spaghetti, but it turns out it's it's cooked with their fucking with their vagina blood. So For, blood is okay, different. Okay, okay. Blood is not different. It's, still, different. it's still the same. Okay. Blood is different. First off, what scenarios have you lived in? What, what? What What situations have you had you come across this I'm year? Not, I'm not this saying ain't be this is my, vampires. This is, I'm not saying this is my, this is my situation. You I'm are saying, a vampire. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that this is my situation. I'm saying that I have seen it before. On TV? I've seen it before in person. Someone has eaten this, not... I doesn't want to like date this woman. Eats this dish that she makes. All of a sudden, it's like, it's like a, he's in a trance. Really he can't get enough of this woman because it, it has pheromones in it, bro. When you smell people, you get a certain smell, and you're like, all right, I can fuck with this guy. Oh, so you're or saying I that can't. like, if I drink this, I like fall in love with her. I'm not saying that that's what? the case. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. really be opposed to that either, though. But he don't I'm know not, who she is. I'm not. Is saying she that. bad? Just say yes or no. You don't gotta. Like, you don't have to explain See, it. See, I wouldn't be opposed to it if she looked good. Back the fuck up, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's already had he's uh-huh. already had a taste of the other coquito, if you will. That's not the coquito. That's, that's Veronica right there. Wow. Or whatever her name is. Crazy. Is that really her name? Was, was I, I don't like that, but I it's know probably, Veronica, it's probably, which makes that nasty it's probably, I think we all know Veronica. It's probably Rebecca. Re- no, yeah. Veronica's Rebecca ain't making no cookie dough. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah I'm okay, like, your so name's Veronica, again. Veronica, like, in my experience, has been, like, just the freakiest woman. Yeah, have we all met a rocket that was bad as shit? I feel like that's just, like, a rite of passage. No man. comments. See, you, you so corny, You're a bro. weird ass nigga, bro. We being open on this pod, bro. Talking about weird. being open, let's talk about Drake, who opened up on his album. He ain't open up shit. <laughs> Washed ass nigga. Nah, let's talk about it, bro. I'm not talking about the last 20. Yeah, are you? Are you I'm a, talking about your lifetime. Are you, are you emotional? Everybody, stunted? everybody <laughs> has met a bad Veronica. Are you? Are you okay? Is that yes or no? Sure. Okay, that's it. That's it. You don't got to be all. You weird can about say it. yes. You don't have yeah. to say sure. Why do you weird. need a direct? Answer? I want to say no now. Okay, you can say no if you, you can want say to. Say no too. But I feel like you're lying. You know what I mean? Yo, He's definitely lying. You just say that I'm a liar. It's crazy. I'm not that calling boy, you that a boy's truth. a liar. Ice I'm, Spice. I'm not. I'm not calling you a truther. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is that your ad libs? Is your ad libs? Talking you? about ad libs. <laughs> Let's talk about the Toronto album Drake. All right, these segues are horrible. <laughs> Speaking of horrible, let's talk about this flu album. <laughs> <laughs> man, that shit was transcendental, man. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck transcendental? Oh, transcendental. Bro. Is that the word of the day? That's the word of the day. Oh, is that a word? God. Yeah, it is. It is a transcendental? word. Transcendental? Bro. Is that how you would really describe this fucking flute really album? I would, I would. Tell us what, what you tell the tell everybody what, what transcendental so, means. This thing got French fry socks. Yeah, bro, and they're fire. Bitches love it. Bitches? Plural? No, no, Whoa. no. No, no. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, mark this so I know not to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill out, bro. Oh. It's the coquito. It's the coquito. It's the coquito. Yo. Coquito make you tell the truth. Now, nah, what you doing? What you doing, bro? Oh. Cut this out, bro. All right, all right. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Cut this out. Transcendental. The word of the day is transcendental. Uh, it is an adjective relating to a spiritual or non-physical real realm. The uh, the sentence is the transcendental importance of each person's soul. Okay, so you thought the flu album was transcendental. I think it's mid. Well, I, I won't even say mid. Mm. It's kind of fucked up we're getting to this before the Drake. <laughs> I know, right? After all my um, um, 
It was music. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Because you know what I was going to say? <laughs> it's definitely a flute album. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's what, what I, I thought it was going right, to be. Right, 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 right. But, but, but the, I, I'm going to stand on what I said last pod, which is like, there are certain things that need to happen in history for certain things to exist. For example, this is going to sound very fucked up, and I should stop myself. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, black people moving after slavery, black people moving from the South to the North was pivotal. Why? Because you have the, you have, <clears throat> you have Spanish Harlem. Holy fuck. The amount of, the amount of genres, number one, mm-hmm. that came out that were related to salsa, which is a very like mishmash of like what exists now. All of that needed to happen. Andre 3000, this album needed to happen. Because the world needs healing. And, right, you're used to... He really wanted to make a rap album. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Case in point, the first song, the first name... I'm going to let him finish. Of the first I'm gonna song. I'm gonna, okay. Right? Uh-huh. The first name of the first song. Was it New Blue Sun? The first name of the first song is... I really wanted to make a quote-unquote rap album. Now, my, I'll tell you, my favorite song is uh, the slang word pussy rolls <laughs> off the tongue. Great taste. The, the, right, the slang word pussy rolls off the tongue better than the word vagina. vagina. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. And he, he's, he's spinning on these, on these one-liners, bro. That's my girlfriend. Jesus Christ. So That's scared. love. That's love right there. Yeah. It's a healthy fear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't, I don't know about that now. Okay. Um. Look, look, look. You're, you, you, you go first, and then I'll, I'll tell you why you're wrong. Look, good. The nigga was playing the flute. Let me tell you why you're wrong. If anything, yeah. it's a group effort. Why is he on the name of everything? So that's, that's a fucking band. Maybe he's putting some people on, bro. Maybe we're getting the next fucking. Listen, bro. Maybe we're getting the next Patrick Page. Maybe we're getting the next Steve Lacey. You're not fucking thinking about this shit. Okay. Maybe we're getting the next. But then Steve why Lacey. is it called? Why is it Maybe called the three thousands? The three thousands, uh, whatever the fuck this. Because that's new the blue name moon. of the fucking group, bro. How do you think Kendrick Lamar introduced PG Lang, bro? How did you think he? You because mean, he started how did rapping he on his cousin. Him and Baby King. It's just him, and Baby King, and another, another nigga, nigga that nobody talks about. <laughs> so look, look, on. look. He's playing the fucking flute. And I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. John, it's, it's the flute. But here's the thing is you're reviewing music for what it is. You know what it sounds right. like, though? And it's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to... This is a puzzle piece in history. And I'm trying to put the puzzle together. It's not. Let, let me let me cook. Puzzle piece. <laughs> let, let me, this is a puzzle shout piece. Shout organic garments. Yep. Let me cook real quick. Okay, John. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Okay. So this point that you're trying to make, that, that this is like a butterfly effect in music that... This flute album is going to change music. No, it's not. And let me tell you, I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's very possible. See, a butterfly can make a tornado, but it also can't. Okay. Okay. All right. That's that's cat. I get it. Okay. Cat, because this is not something. This is not like the caveman banging rocks together and like, oh shit, that shit kind of slapped for real. No, we are in 2023. Everybody knows what the flute is. What we got from this fluid album, it was not nothing that I've never heard before. It's like it's it's just some happy ass like oh it's ambient music, bro. It's nothing. It's nothing. What's the word you use? Transcendental. Transcendental. It's not, bro. It's not. It's just there. It's there. This is the equivalent. You saying that he wanted to make a rap album is cap because he just could have. He could have. And the, and the and the point that you make it of like, oh, he's trying to put niggas on. He could have done that with a regular ass album with lyrics. Just just having them in the credits. That's the thing though. That's the thing though, man. Hear me out. Is we've been waiting for so fucking long, and he hasn't done shit. Yo, he's only had one fucking. He's only had. Listen, bro. He's only had one. Few and features it's on here. Killer, a couple features here and there, right? On fucking on Kanye's album, on Killer Mike's album. Fine, cool. This motherfucker hasn't even released an EP. You expect him, you expect him after all this time and not releasing an EP, not releasing an LP, three, five, six, seven, eight songs, right? You expect him that after releasing that, you're going to get outcast Andre 3000? No. No. I don't expect that. I just don't think he expects him to play a fucking flute. 
We didn't need the flute album, and I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a debunk your whole thing right now. Because he recently had an interview, and he said that he put out an EP under an alias. So he's making music. We could have got that EP, but instead, we got this little fucking Spongebob running around searching for jellyfish-ass music. That's what we got. Sounds like it's, like you turn on your PlayStation, and you're not playing anything yet. It's like, so oh like, shit, so. I forgot music was on, bro. Yeah. It, th- this is the... like. I said this last week, bro. I don't like... When rich niggas get to a point where they they think they could just do whatever the fuck they want, which they can, and which is fine. I, if Andre's happy, and real, I'm happy. But I'm not gonna act like this is the greatest thing of all time because it's really just an old I'm nigga not, not playing the flute. Right, right, right. And I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm giving Andre 3000 his flowers, in the sense that it's like, yes, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Mm-hmm. But you just said he's making music. It's to your it, point. It, okay. Yeah. Under an music. alias, right? Yeah. So why can't we have both? We don't have both though. We don't have the the, the EP. We don't have. Well, we're it. gonna have. We're gonna have it. And Are at some we? Point, listen, bro. We're gonna have it, and at some point, you're gonna look back on that album. You're gonna be like, "Wow, nah, damn, nah, I really nah. like that flute album." I don't think I am, John. You know what? You know what this flute album is the equivalent to, bro. This is the equivalent. This is the equivalent of like a nigga like who worked at like a Fortune 500 company. Now he's rich, and now he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna spend the rest of my time fucking. I'm gonna move to fucking Peru and play the piano." That's what this nigga's doing now. This nigga is rich. He's accomplished everything he thinks. He is content. And he gave us his little flute album. It's cool. It's just that. It's just a flute album. And, and exactly what I said was going to happen already happened. Niggas was talking about how, bro, you, you saw the tweet I sent in the chat. Nigga was like, Andre 3000 is one of the greatest musical geniuses. Yada, 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 yada. I'm just like, bro, it's a here's flute my, album. Here's my thing, right? Is that obviously, you know, we're having civil discourse, right? You don't, you don't think me, right, you don't think me as a fucking, as a fucking, as a, I assume you don't think of me as, as, crazy. A, pe- as a piece of shit no. who doesn't know what music In is. In fact, I respect your right. music opinion. That's why I'm frustrated right. that, that you think this no, fucking no, 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 regular no. ass flute album is transcendental. Is I, I needed, I needed to cook something. Because I know that all of us would have the same views. Okay, okay, I see. Right? I just, that's you a fair point. Devil's you advocate. I, devil's advocate. I, 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 I needed to play devil's advocate. Plus, I mean, look at what look at what fucking Tyler Creator said about it. That nigga was capping, bro. He's just I gonna, still he's, think that nigga. Nah, he's just Yo. gonna take his flute sound. People need to realize though, rappers lie. Is it? Listen to me, bro. Music, certain music is not for everybody. I'm standing on it. Certain music is not for everybody. Not everybody is gonna like and or understand. The importance of an mm-hmm, album like mm-hmm. this that is so peaceful. Yep. That is not. I, I'm. I'm gonna. I sent the fucking picture in the chat. See. Man. And I'm gonna read what his what his hoodie says. It's not even a hoodie. It's, he's wearing a fucking trash bag. I told you. It sounded like that's perfect music for me to go to sleep to. Yeah. The 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 only thing that I disagree of what you're saying is the part that some people don't understand it, and that like shit like that because. It's very service level. There's no deeper meaning to it. Even if there is, bro, it's a fucking flute, bro. Like he, he's, he's trying to be, he's trying to be trendy with these fucking long ass song names. Like I went to Hawaii and turned to a panther. Then I saw my mother in a dream. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. nigga, just it's a song, bro. So, so he wasn't actually the first one to do that. Um, I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, <clears throat> his shirt on. If you go on on um, on Spotify, uh, his like entire jumpsuit says across cultures. Darker people, darker people suffer the most. Period. Why? And then he has a he has a soul he has a soul tag on his on his like belt line where his like rib cage starts. So it's like if you I brought up PG Lang before, right? They're yeah. not really doing much besides like a phone that is just mm-hmm. disconnected from essentially like everything. It's mm-hmm. only connected by like GPS. You can't use internet on it, whatever. Yeah. We have no idea what Andre 3000 is going to do. We have no idea what, whether or not, and I'm not saying this is going to be the case. Mm -hmm. It may be that Andre 3000 may be the next J. Cole. He may bring up the next Dreamville. The next Dreamville. He may bring up. So you think, so, oh, that's what you think. He may do that. That's what, and that's my whole point is that like, it's not, it's not for him. Maybe it's the start of something. It's not for him. Okay. It's not for him. 
And it's not for the people who yeah. only think surface level who are like, oh my God, oh my God, hundred three thousand. Oh, this nigga, really? It's not. It's I, not I, about I, that. Bro, he don't got this nigga. This, this dude, this dude, dude no, no, beat up no, off camera. Beat up listen on to camera. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me, bro. It's not about those people who are like, oh my God, Andre three thousand is the best because we all know Tyler the Creator and some in some of his interviews, he 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 talks about it. He's like, yo, like. These these little white kids are like, oh my god, I love Wu Tang Clan. I love I love a uh, um. Shut about Wu Tang, little nigga. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, yeah. You don't fucking you don't fuck with Wu Tang, John. I I agree and disagree at the same time. But, the, but see, honestly, at that point, that's where it comes back to bite you because it's like, what the fuck do you know about a flute, little nigga? Like, the fuck you really jamming about? And a flute? Here's my thing: is that I know how to play instruments. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know how difficult it is. It I'm is, not it is. saying I'm not saying this was the best. No, but I'm just saying there's like regular heard. street niggas song I'm about some. Like, yeah, nigga, this is, is that, the. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. that not everybody is going to understand it? See, no, it no, 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 no. That's the word that makes me disagree with you. I would just say because fuck with it. It's vi- yeah, yeah. Not maybe not many people will fuck with it. Right, but it's very surface level. I don't think there's different like layers to it. I'm not saying that playing the flute is hard. Right. And at the end of the day, Andre 3000 can do whatever the fuck he wants, right? I agree. I agree with you. And I do agree with you that he's a genius. Right. In fact, I think, I, honestly, I think he should like write a book or something. But he should do whatever the fuck he wants. Clearly, he needs to just make fucking soundtracks. Or just produce. And maybe, and that's do what I'm saying. Do what is that do. Maybe that is, maybe that's the right who wants to take it. Because that was maybe definitely a soundtrack a vibe. Maybe he wants to make a group. Yeah. Maybe he just wants to be the next fucking John but, Williams. But, but we're not focused on the group right now. We're talking about right, the we're flute talking album. About him. Right, right, right. And the flute album right. was exactly that. No, I know. It was a flute album. I understand. And that shit, it just, it is what it was, bro. I agree. Like, but it's a part of time now. Yeah, we can't yeah. deny it. Do what you want. I'm, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it was amazing. It was the greatest thing ever. Right. Because if any other nigga did that flute album, Niggas be getting hell for it. So that's that's all I'm saying. No, no, I've seen tweets already. I will say this: it is interesting. It's interesting. Nigga dropped a flute album. Salute to Andre. I kind of want to wrap it. I want to wrap it up and say this: the entire my entire argument is like it's a part of obviously yes, it's a part of time now, but you don't know what this thing like. What did I say last pod? You cannot shit on someone's idea because the next idea they have is going to be a million dollar mm-hmm. idea or it can be. Yeah, it can be. Andre could be cooking. He may think that he's cooking. And on this. Flute but let's album, also say, he though, may not be. We also say it could just be shit up bad. Sonically, it does sound right. Cool. No, and, I, yeah. and I'm not. You know what I mean? Critiquing it could have been horrible. It Imagine you just sucked at playing the flute. I, and, he, and it was it was OK for yeah. what it was. Right. And I agree with Justice to that point. But I'm defending it. As a piece of culture mm-hmm. now, because now it's like boom, boom, boom. All of it is content. It's all rolled yeah. out. Boom, boom, boom. The black kids but, don't want to play flutes now. But listen to me. He may be inspiring the next generation. That's exactly what Yo. Bond said. It's a possibility. Maybe it's not the flute, but you maybe can't. the next the next kid want to play bass because Andre was playing the flute. So like, I see the vision. Nah. You convinced me, nigga. Nah. I don't. I disagree. You don't understand what I'm saying, though. I, you I disagree. It's I, history. I, I, John, it's history. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I disagree. I disagree because because you a hateful nigga. I am, but I'm gonna say all right. You need to think. You about don't got shit. no dreams, nigga. I'm I, gonna say something a little. A little it's, it's a tad bit controversial. You need to think about things contextually. But okay. continue. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something a little controversial, right? You saying that, you know, he's gonna inspire the next generation to play the flute. I don't think that Andre 2000 has that big of a tab, has that big of an influence on the next generation. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I think he has influence on this generation. Right. Not the whole generation, but a, a good amount of it. This next generation, I don't think so. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that's where this next generation is going. And not only that, it's the flute. It's been done before. We grew up in music class playing the flute. If niggas but, wanted but, to make but, a flute out, we could have done it. But guess what? Niggas was never really listening to the flute. Now look. We grew up watching Spongebob, watching Squidward play the fucking clarinet. clarinet. No one plays the fucking clarinet. Not the flute, though, nigga. It's the same thing, bro. See, but he's like... It's he's one th- instrument. Andre 3000 has the capabilities to put different instruments and sounds together and make amazing music. We saw that. Right. It's like you're taking a step fucking backwards. I don't think so. You are, Yeah, it is. That's exactly what I he's doing, bro. So. And especially, like, this, this, is, this is what you decide to do. 
Like, I, I prefer you to stay retired. Justice, I... Yeah, that's <laughs> justice, just stay retired. Justice, justice, justice. I, you know, I love you and I agree with you <laughs> on some things. I'm going to disagree with you. I do not think he took a step back. I think he took a step forward. No. If anything, no, no. He challenged no, himself. He challenged no. himself. Justice, do you know how hard it is to play an instrument? Okay. All right. Look, at look, at look, his look. age, guess, guess how old he is. I don't know how old he is. 55. He old he's, he's old as shit. Okay. He's old as shit. 55. Six. I'm not saying it's, it's not difficult. difficult. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm not saying what he did was easy to I'm do. I'm not saying that either. But, bro, we acting like this is an Andre 3000, one of the greatest musical geniuses of our time. I'm not going to give him credit for playing the fucking flute. Not and not only that, this seems like something that's been do he's been doing for a long time. Metro Boomin said, I think this is a cap also, but he said that he played the flute on uh, Mask Off. I don't know about that one. Damn, that's kind of crazy. If he did, that's kind of legendary. And, and that uh, makes it even worse. That means he could have really had crazy saying, ass, but, like... But this is what I'm talking about. That part. You, Damn, you imagine if me. he would have had a bunch of features, he didn't rap, but he had, like, instrumentations that, and every... That, that's what I'm saying. Come on, that Andre. You don't know. It could be leading to that. Doing. It could be leading to that. You okay, don't, right. surface level, you don't know what the I don't. fuck he's doing. You basic ass I nigga. Don't, you don't know I shit. I don't know what he's doing, you're right. But at the end of the day, it comes back to the music. And if, let's say... Let's say he did take a step. And you also got to take we'll each agree. project as it is. You can't, yes. you know what I mean? You don't have to agree with me. We'll agree to disagree you on that have, point. You don't have to, okay. But just look at the music. We're talking about this flute album is supposed to possibly freaking transcend music and right. expire the generation to come. Is this flute playing that interesting and that different from anything you've heard before? He don't justice. get it. He don't get it. Justice, justice. It's, it's, bro, justice. it's boring. Listen to me. It's boring. Justice, justice. <laughs> Just he, he, he don't get it. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I'm gonna drive this point home. I'm gonna drive this point home. Okay. We could drop it. Okay, okay, fine, we fine. Can fine. Go. This is gonna be my last thing. It may be the flute this time, but it could be the fucking cello next time. Nigga. It could be fucking beautiful. All right, you know what? And and okay, okay. hear me out. He could be Nigga. making he could be making music for the next fucking Black Panther fucking mm -hmm. movie. He could be making Music for the next Marvel Marvel shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You get me? Do you no, understand? All right, I get you, nigga. All right, I get you. Right, right, right. Just, it's my turn, right? Okay, nigga. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe all right, so after nigga. that, you said after the flute, it would be the what? It, it could be the cello. It could be the cello, cello nigga. It could be the trombone. Right. right. It could be Point the piano. Nigga, right. It could be the electric guitar. Stop pointing. It at could me. be the bass. Right. It could be a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not right. a and bunch of stuff. I'm not. I'm not pointing you. He could mix and match. Right. And then he could put it together and make what? Music, which is what he's been doing for 20 years, right? Listen oh, to okay. me, bro. I'm it's just, different. I'm just saying, Johan. I'm just, I'm just, listen to me, bro. It's different, but it's... it's, 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 it's okay, this it's, is ain't point. no step forward. Listen, it's not a step listen, forward, bro. bro. This, is, this is the point that you're missing, right? <laughs> you're, missing, you're missing the intricacies of playing an instrument and figuring out how to play an instrument yourself so you can get the correct sound that you, that you want. Yeah, nigga. This is why... Listen, bro. I'm getting... I'm not getting heated. I'm just very passionate about this shit. <laughs> I, 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 and I listen, like that. I'm glad. Listen I'm to glad. me, bro. Tyler, the creator yep. himself said, mm -hmm. I took a step back and back. I analyzed my, I analyzed my sound. Mm -hmm. That's why Cherry Bomb sounded so shifty because Fire, nigga. he went back and he learned how to fucking play the piano. Play that <laughs> shit. Yeah. This is something, this is a stepping stone for Andre 3000. I'm not saying the album's good. I'm not saying that the, the flute, that the, him playing the flute was good. I'm saying that this is a stepping stone John. for him. Just like some people like Cherry Bomb and some people don't like Cherry John, Bomb. Nigga. Let, let's rewind for a minute. Nigga. Let's rewind for a Dumb minute. Dumbass. Okay. Nigga. Sure. Let's rewind for a minute. Goofy for ass nigga. What did you just say? Tyler went back and learned what? He learned the piano. He learned the piano. He didn't put our piano album. He okay. learned it. Go right. learn this shit and right. then come back. Right, and right, not right. only that, okay. he did Cherry Bomb and then what did he drop? He dropped e Flower Boy and he e dropped that. Right. Andre already dropped his that. He already dropped amazing music. So. so why are you why are you just now at fucking 50, 60 years old getting to the point where, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick up the flute and then maybe I'll get my music. To, his music is already there, Johan. It's I know. There. I understand. I get that. I think we so, How about this? About this? this how about we're just all that's missing the main thing? He just wants to play the flute. That's what I said. It's cool. But right. I'm not gonna act like don't act like, oh, you I'm, don't understand it. Right, right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I don't think don't. he gets I it. I think I think you get it. <laughs> I think you understand it. You I wanna, understand what you're saying. You want to drop the point home sonically. This was an okay album. It's just a flu, bro. You can fucking leave it. You can leave it. Yeah. But I'm I'm gonna say it again. Music has to be looked at contextually because oh, yeah. without jazz, you're without blues, you're not gonna have jazz. Without jazz, you're not gonna have hip hop. 
Yep. Without jazz, you're not going to have most country music. Without jazz, you're not going to have the fucking, the Hamilton soundtracks and all that shit. Because yeah. guess what that was? That was fucking jazz. Mm-hmm. And they influenced each other. I'm saying that you have to sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, you got to look at shit contextually. Okay. I, I And that's my argument. Dumbass, I hear nigga. what you're saying. That's my argument. Stupid. And I still disagree, but right. we can go back to it to later. Ass Jerry we'll go back to it later. Shit. We'll go back to it later. That's fine. Because when he comes out with that EP... And it's a fucking sonic masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, don't say you like that shit then. It's like, Dumbass it's nigga. a fucking Oppenheimer soundtrack type shit. Hyper-hyper and Kanye crazy. the fucking, and Kanye West is on it. And fucking Ty Dolla Sign. And fucking, and g Easy And Logic. g Easy is nasty. <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave it here. He could have done that anyway. It's true. He's good enough to do it anyway. It's true. But he did it, nigga. So, so what, nigga? Shut up, bro. Shut up. You've added nothing to this conversation, bro. Except fucking Adlins that's, that's been pissing oh, me off. You've been hearing speaking, that. Nah, fuck that. I didn't think you heard speaking that. Speaking of Adlins, yeah, let's no. talk about this. We don't talk about this shit. We don't talk about this nigga that you've been, you've been dying to talk about. Drake dropped Drake the dropped. deluxe of For All The Dogs. Scary Hours 2. We don't Scary even hours got the dog. Three. We don't Scary got the dog three. here. He went to go eat. What are your thoughts on the new Drake? I think it was trans. <laughs> it was what? It was transcendental. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, nigga! Get out now, oh, Johan. Huh? Yeah, I don't think you get it. I don't think you get it. No, Drake is think- past this. Point. Nah, see, you don't I'm get tired it. Of this now shit. you gotta hear me out. You heard you. I gotta hear me out. I'm tired of this shit. He, he, Drake he, is washed, and he I said started, it. Now, listen to his point. Listen to his He's starting the president of like you know. I'm gonna drop a better deluxe than a regular album. Now you're gonna see a lot of these niggas dropping better deluxes than albums because Drake started that shit because it's transcending time you, and space. You want me to be real with you? He wasn't the one to do that. Kanye West was the one to do that. Yes, He's got look, look 49 at album, 49 song album. So, uh, nah, that shit was okay. It was, right. it was cool. It's all right. Yeah, I thought, uh, it sounded like a bunch of, like I told you, them, them, them dates and places. Timestamp songs. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this. These songs have better rapping on it than all of For All The Dogs. Yeah, that's, that's all crazy. All of For All The Dogs. Wow, okay. For sure. Um, I think he should have just dropped that and called that all the dogs and never dropped the rest of the bullshit. And he should have kept Virginia Beach. See, yeah. The songs were good. Obviously, we'll get into like, you know, the disses and shit. Look, if he would have kept Virginia Beach, the J. Cole song, and then these tracks and dropped all the rest, it would have been fire. But here's the thing, though. You got to realize that those timestamp tracks and the songs that he's really focused on just rapping, those are the songs that like have the least amount of streams. So, but if he wouldn't if matter it, anymore for him, that's the problem. Like, why does that shit matter for him? This nigga I feel like it still matters to an extent because uh, I think one of the songs that he dropped, it had like the lowest like amount of streams the first day and what in happened? his career. And what happened? I'm not. I'm not saying no, that. no. But I'm saying like, so like, why do we even matter, Drake? Like, oh man, yeah. play the flute, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever makes you, you know what I mean? It's like the total opposite. It's like Drake doesn't do anything that makes him happy. He does whatever gives him the bag. Well, you, then you got fucking Andre three bitch nigga make just doing fruit <laughs> shit. It's like, and it's like, bro, three, th- 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 there's no in between, bro. If Drake put out a flu oh, album, you know bro. how much niggas would shit on it? No, niggas would yeah. gobble this shit up, bro. Nah, like, I don't think so. I, don't look, think look, I can already up. imagine. I, I can so. already imagine the owl with the flute. Six 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 six. six. Woo. I don't think so. You know why? Because Andre Three Thousand has a fucking hold on that group of hip hop fans that like, oh yeah, I only like Andre Three Thousand, Kendrick Lamar. I only like music with meaning. Drake has the casual fan base. Right, the right. casual people, the casual fan base, they ain't gonna fuck with the flute, nigga. They gonna turn that shit off and be like, Drake is wash. Hashtag fuck Drake. You know, you know what, what I mean? You know what that Andre Three Thousand album sound like? What's that thing from Spongebob? Do 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 do. Yeah, the SpongeBob. Do 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 elevator music. Um, do do do. But that's fire though. Do, it is fire though. <laughs> that day, that is fire. Do, 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 do. I, I need, I need, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the six guy. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, good rapping, good rapping. Yeah. I like the beats, calm beats, couple conductor beats. Um, let's see if I got any songs like Drake was dissing a lot of niggas, right? He dissed Joe Budden. He did a lot of wrestling puns. Yeah, he did a lot. There was like, a lot I of like noticed it. Like, yeah, he did like a he, he referenced John Cena. He uh, there was multiple actually multiple songs. There was a lot of bars that like I still remember. Like oh, he has some good bars in there. He said you, you niggas only shoot on the web, you Spider Man. 
Oh yeah, that's tough. Yeah. That was tough. And that's and that's why the, this music is for the casuals. But that's a tough line. Nah, nah, this Regardless. one was for the niggas. Yeah, th- I feel like this one was for like more like the the dogs, the, rap fans. the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, more for the do- like. There's one line he was like, "You, you niggas, you niggas don't get to the bread. You want a keto vibe." I like nah, that shit too. Nah, bro, was he, was, he was like, bro, y'all all split That's up. Uh, what did he say? Y'all get a bottle and split it five ways. I'm like, damn, nigga, this nigga talking real personal. <laughs> nah, yeah, he was taking some personal shots. He he, he was dissing Joe Budden. He was dissing Pusha T, uh, still. Uh, James Harden for some reason. Um, he had this one line. Uh, I, I forgot what song it was, but he was talking about how, like, uh, we can't wait for you to retire your stuff. You know, uh, take... Unlace your shoes And you're gonna realize You're not Kobe Bryant to us I feel like he was either Talking about Kanye Kind of comparing him To Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. Or He's he's talking about Kendrick Because he has problems With both of them Co- uh, Kanye more it's so Pusha because, T dumbass it's not, No Pusha T ain't no Kobe bro But Kendrick's from LA mm-hmm. So it would make sense If it was Kendrick But it also I think would make sense If it was Ye too So I don't know See, it's definitely interesting. It's Pusha T, bro. You don't get it. Look, look, look. look Kobe's originally from where? But then, yeah. But then he went to do what? Played overseas, right? That's that's what he did. Like he he didn't do the whole college route. But he went to play overseas. I think he. I think he was searching the league though, bro. No, I think he went over overseas instead of going to like college for a year. You might be right. This nigga don't know his history. Nigga stone. Dumbass nigga. Watch. I'm about to prove him wrong twice in a right. pod. Look it right. up. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Quan is right, right, right. Nah, bro, he didn't play overseas. Oh, okay. Stupid ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Make a new song. Anyway. Um <laughs> Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh he was that he was, was that about, necessary? He was, nah, I wasn't. I apologize. Yeah. It's like nah, fuck you. But yeah, he was either talking about Kanye or he was talking about Kendrick. Uh, he was dissing a whole bunch of niggas on here, bro. Th- this was this was Drake rapping, rapping. You could tell he he also said he made this in like five days, like the last five days he made these songs. So you could tell he was probably pissed off by the reception of the album, had a little chip on his shoulder. All this showed me is that is exactly what I said. He wasn't fucking trying on for all the dogs. This shit was lazy as fuck. Mm. Because if you if you have the potential to rap like you've been rapping, and then you give us what you gave us in an album. You deserve a slander, bro. You know? And I think he... I still think he needs a a long break. You know? I'm cool with these little five songs, but go away now. You know? Go play the flute in the woods with Andre 3000. Do whatever Yo. you gotta do to get your sound right. And then come back. You know what I mean? Exactly. There you go. Context. See? If it was him playing the flute with Drake on it, now we cooking. Exactly. That's now we now that, we cooking with Now album. you're understanding what I'm saying, now bro. We, see, if... if if now that's the understands. route, if that's the route he's going, I'm fine with it. Now he understands. That's why, because I'm cool with him just producing. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> that's see if it's Metro if and Andre. True, if that's true, if yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Legendary, oh, legendary. My fucking god! And this yeah. flute album is just like, <laughs> fucking. I'm gonna fucking play some random ass fucking shit. Yeah. But then I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna go up on stage and play Mask Off with Future for like the 50th anniversary or some shit. He's yeah. not fucking dead by now. <laughs> oh, that's nigga. Oh, yeah, I know. Crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Andre. Two black legends. You know what I mean? Talking about blacked. What do you what do you say? Let's talk about it. <laughs> talk, talk about, about what? So who got who got blacked? Yeah. Is the, the girl being coquito? Whoa! Not yet. Oh my god. Not yet. You know what they say? Once, once Coquito you go black, got y'all acting real different. I'm not once, used to this. Once you go black, I regret bringing y'all Coquito. Nah, you should, we should do this every episode. Once you go black, I don't want to see this man jerking off every episode. Yeah, I'm that was pretty crazy. Fight. Bro, you like, whipped it out on us, bro. I did not. I did not. Don't fucking do that. All right, I'm just going to say they're going to think it's very, very different. Don't do that. On their end, it's looking very different. Jesus Christ. Are you keeping that? Huh? Are you are you keeping that whole combo? Or are you jerking off? Yeah. How uh, how is he cutting that out? You did it halfway bro, into so conversation. Bro, cut out, bro. I might just put this whole shit out and say fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give is a this fuck, the, is man. Is this the Patreon episode? Is this the, this I, No, the I, I don't want to see them 
see me, I don't want them seeing me like being kind to dogs and stuff. So take that part out. Oh, fuck. I got the, the two times that my dad came in. I got the. Wait, dog. wait, wait, wait. I thought you were black. Huh? You said your father came in. This guy. This guy, uh, yeah, I don't have a dad. <laughs> I like watermelon. My dick is big. Ha, 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 ha. So funny, nigga. <laughs> My dick is big. <laughs> so funny, nigga. I can't swim. Ooh, I'm no drowning. Ever. Yeah, I'm good at sports. You're not fat. Well, I'm not you're a lot. Not of, let's talk about a lot of black people are fat, though. You're kind of you're kind of like big bone, though. My dog kind of like fried chicken from before. Like, you're, you're, you're like, <laughs> wow, that was real fat. I was gonna say you kind of built like a like a like a like a Hawaiian nigga. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. He just looks like me. That's yeah. he just looks like me. I mean, or who's older? I've been getting the Hawaiian shit. Who's older? This nigga for sure. So I'm you 100%. look like him. No, that's how old are you, Jones? I'm uh, twenty three. What's your birthday? April 26th. You know my birthday, nigga. It's you're Earth 20. Day. Oh, wait, you're 23. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm older. Yeah, you are. You an old-ass nigga, bro. I am. And that's why you don't like the flu, because you a grumpy-ass, old-ass, bitch-ass nigga. I feel like bro. only old niggas like the flu. No, like, clearly like, not. Clearly not, nigga. I feel like old niggas only like the flu. Bro. You're like, oh, back in my day, my rappers used to rap. Back in my day is also back in your day. Nah, no. You, and also, you didn't like that flu shit either. Uh, you, oh, don't, you don't know what I did. the hat store. Yeah, that's the same shit he like. <laughs> I feel like that's some shit you would listen to more than me. Wow, that's crazy. You like you like Slick Rick, John? I do. Slick Rick's fire. Fucks with Slick Rick. He had an eye patch. He did. To black them bitches out. It's the most gangster shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I used to ask y'all this in the beginning. I'm going to bring this back. What have y'all been listening to lately? Oh shit! Oh, I got you. God, I DC Two up. Trail, Caribou, Caribou. Is I'm tough. not the two, you know. I'm out. Caribou. Is uh, tough. ever RX Poppy always and forever. Shout out RX Poppy. A, a little bit of Misfits, you know. Halloween passed. So I had to listen to Halloween. I'll be into Misfits a little bit. Misfits slaps, bro. Uh, I've been listening to some Motley Crew too. Tough, tough. I mean, nothing uh, like Caribou and Motley Crew. What a great combination. Oh, that's that. That could be a bar too. Caribou and Motley Crew. So, shit. Uh, shit. I've been listening to the JPEG Mafia. Uh, this girl called Nia Archives. You listen to other women that's not your girlfriend? What kind of music Nia Archives <sighs> makes? <laughs> oh my God, don't sigh at me, but that's crazy. Nia, Nia Archives is like, a, it's like drum and bass things, but she like, listen, she has two other people, but she started uh, producing on her own, like a lot of drum and bass stuff, mm-hmm. uh, which is pretty cool. Just so, producing in general. Um, I listen to Kitchenada from time to time. Yeah. Uh, Denzel Curry, Kenny Mason, they have a scared. But you scared, scared. but you scared. scared. Yeah, that's your fire. Uh, the girl from Ipanema by uh, Amy Winehouse. Oh shit! So okay. sad. The Queen is gone. Uh, I've been listening to uh, Baby Come Back. You can yeah. live it on, on me. Fire. Um, yeah, that. And then there's um, it's called Sun Shower by Home. Yeah, I'm just. I should just make playlists. I'm trying to get into the Ramones. Show. That's what they call, right? Ramones. Ramones yeah. I'm trying to get into them. Tough. Mamas and the but the thing is, is they have a lot of like not not sleepers, but a lot of not even throwaways. A lot of bullshit. Okay. So I was, I don't know them from anything. So I'm trying to figure out like what is the top shit. That's why I like album music where they have like artist essentials, mm. where it's like their best and biggest yeah. songs. And you can so listen, listen to listen you can do the same thing on Spotify. You can listen yeah. to. Like the essentials or like the mm-hmm. like the playlists that like artists make because some people will do that mm-hmm. and a lot of a lot of them are underground on Spotify but even then some of their music tastes is like really good that's good it's like really yeah. good me I've been listening to like a lot of like ninety shit I've been listening to uh actually you know what I've been listening enough, to you just gonna interrupt me but okay yeah what bro because trust the process that new that new that boy Twan song that just dropped see I was gonna get to see, I was exactly. Going, I was gonna gonna, get to that. And it's funny because I was gonna have him on the pod today, but that bitch ass nigga worked. But uh <laughs> I dropped a song with that boy Swan called Bad, featuring I don't know the nigga's name, Dennis, I think. Um tap into that. That shit was fire. We got some shit on the way. Um, weirdly enough, after the fucking flute album, uh I've been listening to uh Southern Playa Southern Playalistic Cadillac music. Yo, that's I think that's their first album. That album was fire, bro. I was listening to um, I love Stan Stanconia. That's a tough one, but their first album is like really like dark. I really fuck with it. Like a uh, 
Their sound, everything. Players Ball is fire. Hootie who fuck with that shit too. Um early in the week I was listening to uh Ryan Trey, R and B singer. The album's mm. really good. Tap into that if you want some R and B. Brent shit was good too. Um also lately I've been tapped into so I've been watching Samurai Shampoo, I told you. Mm-hmm. Uh you saw that, right? Samurai Shampoo? Uh, bits and pieces. I gotta go back and watch it. Though. Both of you, I, y'all would like it a lot. Y'all would like it a lot. Um I like you a lot. But thanks, man. But the, the nigga who did the soundtrack, his name was, I don't want to butcher his name. I think it's uh, New Jabis or some shit like that. Yeah, New Jabis. You know who that is. <laughs> I've been tapped into his music. He did the Cowboy Bebop shit bro. too. Oh my God. His music is really good, bro. Are you fucking kidding? I didn't even know he did fucking Cowboy yeah. Bebop too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. R- RP. Oh RP. shit, man. We're nerding out right now. It's fine. Shit. I'm saying, I'm bro. What? You're going to yeah. get, I'm telling you. Shit, you're you're going to get into, you're going to get into that shit's your fire. Producers. Shut up, bro. Shut up, nigga, real quick. Shut up, nigga. I'm trying to fucking talk to you, the God damn up. it. Because I wasn't acting like this fucking when you were fucking, oh, up, yeah, I'm listening bro. to the Misfits. Yeah, rock on. Uh, bitch ass you nigga. You actually dead said I've been listening to the Misfits. Bitch ass nigga. Right, Only bro. a Motley crew. Uh, Just listen, bro. Fucking bitch. You're going you're gonna to get into your like bag when it comes to like producers. Because that nigga. was like one of them. I listened to fucking Jay Hope. Dilla. Jay Dilla straight. A lot of old Kanye West. <laughs> new new <laughs> Nah, but New Jim is tough, bro. R.I.P., bro. bro. His shit is just like it's fire. Fucking... Real, real calm vibe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've been He's got a lot to. of Japanese inspired shit, bro. That's yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. So you love Samurai Jack, bro. The fucking, bro. Tap into that shit. The, the intersection between black culture and Japanese culture is oh, fucking, yeah. it's insane. For sure, for it's sure. It's so nuts. For sure. Definitely. You just killed the vibe, bro. I did. I'm not you saying nothing. Vibe, I'm being... Like, Usually, like, trying to make fun shit. of us, yeah, bro. No, I, clearly, I can't. Cause I shut up, Quan. All right, fuck y'all. All right, let's get into some nerd talk. <laughs> yeah, I should it's just let y'all keep talking talk. about y'all fucking dumbass producer. That was nerd talk enough, bitch ass niggas, bro. What would you want to talk about then? Hmm? Let's talk about your mama, nigga. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put, put that shit down. That was crazy. Put that, put that shit down. <laughs> you you know what sucks, though, bro? Though, bro. It, cause I know what I hate about you. Because we dare their family. So it's like, I can't even like insult this nigga because it's like insulting <laughs> myself, God. It's like, <laughs> let's really talk about it. Yeah, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. What, what type of nerd talk are we talking about today? It's fucking. Yo, I'm trying to keep it back <laughs> alive. Mom now, bro. I'll go get her. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Uh. Yeah. First. First things first. Oh my god. Can you hear that? <laughs> yes. Ignore my dog. Uh. We're gonna wrap this up soon, bro. Uh. Pedro. <laughs> Something pa- I never said. Pedro. <laughs> Pedro Pascal has officially been named. Uh. Reed Richards, aka Mister Fantastic, in the MCU. Shout out to him. They casted uh, Lex Luthor too. Lex, yeah, Lex Luthor. I actually said Lex Luthor this time, not Lex Luger. Yeah, in, in DC, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the dude who played. Uh, he played Beast in Beast uh, in uh, Days of Future Past and like First Class. Yeah. Oh, dude with the glasses. Yeah, he's playing. Lex Good Luthor. casting though, because I, I think the other cool. guy. Okay, no, my whole thing is I've never seen uh, what's what's the guy's name that's playing uh, Pedro uh, Pascal. I've never seen him play anything that seems like he seems right. every time I see him in something he seems like a good guy. Like I want to like him in everything he plays. I mean he's he's playing a good guy though. But he's playing a Yeah, you know, he's he's an asshole too, but he's he's a good guy. But though. I feel like if if, you know, if I was casting someone, I would be looking for that like I need to make sure they could be a asshole. I think I think he is. Because it's like okay, I wouldn't want to hang out with Reed Richards. You know what I mean? Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy to meet. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's more so of the writing, though. You need almost like a... Uh, uh, damn, I forget his name. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. seemed like if I met him, he would be a douchebag. But I don't know that for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, see, I get what you mean. I get what you I was mean. looking for that vibe a little more. He seemed like a nice, wholesome guy. We'll see, though. But, you know, he might just be a good actor. He might, once it's time to... He is a good actor. Once it's really time to turn it up, I could... I think that it would be interesting to see because isn't Reed Richards like, like one of the like distant cousins of uh of one of the Kangs of Kang? Yeah, because Kang is uh Nathaniel, Nathaniel Richards. Richards. Nathaniel Richards. So like, I I wonder if they are gonna touch on that. They got. And if they do, 
They should. That's gonna be fire. Because Kang is basically someone who like uh he he is mixed of you don't know if he's also related to Doctor Doom, basically. Because the reason he has a mask is the fact that he saw Dr. Doom's mask. And he's like, oh, fuck, I'm about to put that motherfucker on. I'm about to give myself a little mad little mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, trying, I'm, trying to say, I'm trying to see what I'm feeling like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, so, like, yeah, I got a, that little booger. Do what you got to do, bro. It's the, um, this is the villain podcast where we pick boogers out here, nigga. Not nah, facts. No, nah, but I think he's going to do a good job, though. Same thing with the dude who plays he's playing Lex. I think he's, I think he's about job. to be Gangster with it. I think he's gonna be a, a, a good. Uh, Even though I will say I prefer my Lex looking a little black, but I, I can't be that guy. Like, oh, it's a white guy playing Lex. I'm not gonna like him. I'm just saying. Yeah. If you ever look at the cartoons, that that's a that's a nigga. Should have made the Rock. It really could be the Rock. Should have made the Rock look stupid. Shit. But uh, the problem is, if it's the Rock, I could I would believe that he could beat up <laughs> Superman. No powers. No nothing. Not nah, facts. Straight fists. Probably would have too. He would have put on that big ass green suit and then ripped. I don't even need it. <clears throat> exactly. That would have been tough. That would have been crazy, would've right? Been fire, yeah. uh, did y'all see the trailer for Aquaman too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks okay. Uh, I like how. Uh, how you feel about Papa Aquaman? I uh, Black Mantis looks tough. Looks like he's about to be tough in that movie. Is it Black Manta? Black Manta. Black Manta. Okay, I said Mantis, didn't I? Black. I think so. Wait, Black Mantis. You might be right. I think it's Manta. But uh, yeah, the nigga in the movie—he looks, looks like he's gonna be a good villain. So. <laughs> nigga is crazy. Yeah, but uh, I'm interested to see. I don't care for it. That's the problem. It's bro. not in the DCU. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what's the point? So we kind of just have to like get through it. Manta, huh? It is Manta. Yeah, Black Manta. He looks tough. He looks like he's gonna be tough in that movie. So we kind of just have to get through it. You know. So I honestly, I might not even see it. I don't think I am. What's the point? See it. Yeah. We might have to skip that one, guys. Oh, no. Speaking of movies y'all skipped, <laughs> let's talk about the Marvels. <laughs> I wonder why. So these niggas did not see the Marvels, but time has passed now, so we're going to talk about it anyway. You already know what happened because you saw the spoilers. You know, you know nothing, right? I, I I know about the spoiler. You know what it is. Because we talked about it last. No, but you don't know who it is. No, I don't know who it is. Oh, we're going to see your live Ooh. reaction. Okay, so Ooh. as far as the movie, I'll go through this quick. I'll go through this quick. Um... Don't listen to Twitter. If you want to go see it, go see it. If you don't, don't. It's a good movie, right? Every I will say, everybody that I that have said they've seen it said they actually liked the movie. It was, it so, was not a bad That's movie. why I'm, I've been telling people, like, don't listen to Twitter. At all. Um, It was not... It was better than Captain Marvel. It was better than Black Widow. It was better than uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Better than The Eternals. You know, it's not... I wouldn't even say it's a bottom five MCU movie. It's it's a good movie. Like I liked it just as much as I liked uh, Multiverse of Madness, and I liked Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. Um, Captain Marvel wasn't uh, as un- unbearable in this. They as spruced she her was. up a little bit. He, not even just spruced her up. I th- I feel like it has to do with writing. Like she seemed more like. I don't know. She seemed more grounded as a character. I like the dynamic of her, Miss Marvel. And Monica Rambeau, um, you know, obviously they continued the storyline that uh, Captain Marvel, and Monica Rambeau met again for the first time since it was kid. She yeah. was a kid or whatever. She, yeah, and she, you know, she was like, uh, you know, she was kind of mad at her at first because she never came back. My only problem with that is I wish they expanded on it a little more. Like I feel like they made up a little too fast. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like Monica Rambeau was mad for like five seconds. You know, I uh, wish they would have yeah. drawn it out a little bit more. Um, I think, I think, I think the the human nature in, in us really wanted to see kind of like a cat fight. Yeah, I think we really wanted to see them brawl Jerry, for a little bit. Jerry, yeah, they want to see like, a little yitty pop out. We, we wanted, we wanted to see like, like, okay, you're gonna pass this mantle down. Like, you better fucking fight me for it, type shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. Which I, I think that's the route that they're taking it when it comes to, you know, just. That character, because Captain Marvel, I believe, at, at first was Monica Rambeau, yep. was a black woman in the comics. Mm-hmm. Correct me if the I'm first wrong. woman Captain Marvel, yeah, right, was Monica yeah, Rambeau. Was Monica Rambeau, and she was black. And that happened in like the seventies, I think. Because uh, Carol Danvers was still Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The more you know, the more, the more you know. You know, uh, truthfully, when I see this movie, you know what I just see. Bunch of bitches 
And truthfully, all right, I'm gonna stop you. The housewives of Marvel. You starting to be chatting. You don't stop. What, right, bro? Um, as someone, talk, bro. as someone who's, cause I, I know, I know you start chatting, bro. You, 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 you chatting right now. Let me talk, bro. Um, <laughs> I got some gems. I did not know you. Know, those, those were not gems. I, I knew what route you were going. I could see the route. So we're gonna stop. Or we're gonna go the other way. Um, as someone who saw the Marvels, yes. Um, <laughs> someone who saw the Marvels. Uh, not, um, not the Marvels. Someone who saw the show, Miss Marvel. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, I think her character is great. I think um, the dynamic between her, Monica, and Captain Marvel. I think it was it was pretty good. You know, she's like you know a kid. She was like fangirling kind of. I wish they would have expanded on that a little more too. But you were right; it was a short movie, so they had to kind of condense it. Yeah. Um, can you look up the characters real quick for, for the? For the uh, the Marvels because the villain's name I I'm so bad with names, bro. You can't give women too much movie time, you know. <laughs> you gotta cut it down a little bit. <laughs> uh, what's the villain's name? Is it Darben? Yeah, yeah, Darben. Uh, good villain, good villain. She was the leader of the fucking. Uh, what's, I'm terrible with names, bro. Not the scrolls. The Kree. The Kree. Yes. The more you know. Yeah. The the more you know. Um. You know, she was basically taking shit from different worlds, you know, and kind of giving it to her worlds, kind of. Um, so was the, I forgot what planet it was, but, you know, it kind of took the oxygen from their world. So the, the scrolls had to flee. And I think like only like a couple, like a handful ended up on the ship with them and the rest of them obviously died. And, you know, the scrolls are not going to be happy about that, I'm sure. You know she is married to a very important Marvel character. Can you guess who? Um, very important. Marvel I'll say the most important Marvel <coughs> character. Howard the Duck. Getting close. Oh, uh, like in real life or in like in like the movies in, in the like movie the comics? Oh no, in the movies, the most important Carnage. In in the in the movies, the most most important. And why are why are we picking is characters it, that don't got? Is it Scrody? Is it Scroll Rody? The most important <laughs> character in the Marvel universe is it Galactus, nigga. Can it's, you spit it out? It's Kevin Feige. That would have been <laughs> that would be crazy. That is the most important character. It is, it is. It's Loki. She's oh. married to Loki. That's interesting. Yeah, the, interesting. The, the more you know, very interesting. No, okay. Wait, I, no, I think you're getting too deep into it. No, the actress is married to to oh, the you actor, piece of shit. not the, the character. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I realized that I'm you done. Beefed that. I'm done. Did you know I'm what done. I meant, though? I'm muting your fucking microphone. You didn't know what I meant? I was in. Oh, 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 microphone. oh. Uh, shit. Can I can I finish with this, this movie? Fuck. Uh, but yeah, it was a good movie. Um, I'm a spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, towards the end, so oh, so so Darben was after she found like you know the, the quantum bands, the band. yeah, and right. she she found one of them. Obviously, Kamala yeah. Khan had the other one. Yeah, so she was looking for the other one. They were you know trying to stop her. What did they call it? The quantum bands or the mega bands? I think it's the quantum. I don't remember. I they just refer to them as like the, nigga wasn't listening. Honestly, I forgot. I forgot that. I'm sorry. I forgot that one part. You good? I'm probably gonna end up watching it. And I'll correct yeah. you next part. Thank you. Yep. But at, uh, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the film, she ended up getting the other band, and she kind of ripped a hole through space, the, the space time continuum, right? And she died because of that. It was a giant hole, and you know there was two worlds. You know, oh, shit. and a and hole in, in between. An incursion. Oh, coercion. Yeah. yeah. A a cur- coercion? A, a shut coercion. the fuck up. An incursion. An incursion. So, okay. They used the bands and then the power of Monica and uh, Captain Marvel to kind of close it. So, while they were doing that, Monica went on the other side and she was closing it. And while they were closing it, they're like, oh, we don't have enough time to get you out. And Monica was like, it's okay. I knew it was going to be this way. They ended up closing it. Monica got caught in the other side, the other world. So she's gone now. So they, they closed the time, but now oh, shit. she's in the other, would it be multi? I think, it, I think it may be multiverse, the parallel. Yeah. She's in the other multiverse. Yes. 
So that, that's the big, remember I kept saying this the whole thing with Kang and his multiverse is confusing because one's timeline and one's yeah, multiverse. Not, not, yes, not another timeline, another multiverse. So uh, the movie ends, you know, um, Captain Marvel ends up saving uh, the Kree of anyway because she agreed to do that. And then um, also because I think it was her fault anyway that their planet was like out of resources and shit. Okay. So she went back and fixed it. And then, you know, happy ending, blah, blah, blah. Movie ends. Uh, actually, no, this this is even an end credit. At the end of the movie, Kamala Khan was like, I have an idea. And then, obviously, she lives in New Jersey. So they show her in New York. She pops up, pulls up on, uh, I don't know, uh, the new Hawkeye, the younger one. Yeah, yeah, she's just called Hawkeye. Yeah, just Hawkeye. And then she was like, ah, I, I, you know, I've been looking. Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Yes, yes, yes. I'm terrible names. I'm sorry. And was like, I want to recruit you. I'm coming up with a team. And then she was already, she was also like, I already contacted Ant Man's daughter. So it was looking like she's gonna make a little team Cassie that consists Lane. of Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, Kate Bishop, and Ant Man's daughter, okay. Cassie Cass- Lang. Cassie Lang. So I don't know if this is a kid Marvel Young Avengers. I don't know if this is like an all girl team. I don't know. End credit scene. Uh, Monica's connected, you know, tubed up, getting healed or whatever. She wakes up. Uh, next to her is her mom. Oh, shit. And she's freaking out. She's like, oh, my God, mom. Blah, 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 blah. She's like, I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't know what you're talking about. And, you know, Monica starts freaking out. Beast comes in. Beast from the X-Men. Comes in from the Fox. No, a different one. Actually, no, I think it was the same. Okay, one. Yes, look no. different. Though. You know what I mean? It's yeah, a yeah. different. I think it's a different world, but it is yeah. the original Beast. It's a, but he looks like actor. from the animated series. Like he has the under teeth husk or whatever. Oh shit! So he, yeah, it's yeah. tough looking. It looks really tough. And then, uh, um, yeah, she's like, calm down. And then uh, Monica Rambo's mom, I guess. What the fuck is her character? Okay, so, well, she is supposed to be, like, you know, Photon or whatever Monica is supposed to become. But she is binary. And the only reason I know that is because that's the only version of a Captain Marvel that joined the X-Men. Binary. Binary. Which is yeah. also what, you know, Captain Marvel calls that second power-up, like, her binary. Okay. I mean, so, yeah, she's like, she's like, she thinks she's my mom. I don't know what's up with her. And Beast was like, okay, uh, we, we got to send... Uh, we got to send uh, Professor Xavier uh, the, the updates. They walk off, and then you see, you know, like on the wall, it's the giant X. And then it goes to black. That was the, that was the post-credit scene. So we get an X-Men. We get an X-Men soon. Damn. Damn. I don't think... I think the the whole... The whole multiversal multiverse thing, I think... Is not as, you know me. I'm usually positive when it comes to this. I don't think it's a good idea right now. To the X Men, because the X Men to me is like, well, number one, obviously the cul- the entire culmination of like Marvel. It's like very close to like what the end would be and what the end would entail. One, it's like, well, that's one, and number two, it's like it gets as dark as like a DC movie would. Mm. So, either they're going to make these movies rated R, highly, highly doubt it, because this shit sells in fucking in China like crazy. And then I don't think it has. I think Doctor Strange proved the fact that they can kind of toe the lines of. uh... I don't know, man. It's going to be very difficult, and I think that's why they they pushed back the the release dates for so many of these movies is Mm -hmm. because they're coming out with a script, right? And the script is. As dark as I'm fucking telling you that the script is, they have to go through so many revisions. There has to be. I have a I have a friend who who is in California and he he has a business whatever. He works with actors. There are a hundred actors on set, and guarantee you, if it's if one of us three, we're probably not gonna see, we're probably not gonna see the same the scene that we're supposed to be in mm-hmm. until like the next thirty days. Mm-hmm. So you're you're paying someone to be on set. It's just it, to me it's just it's a waste of fucking money because you haven't told an entire story yet. 
mm-hmm. and you're you're gonna try to tell two stories and you're gonna fuck up. Well, no, I see. I just don't think people are so used to like if I introduce a character. They're going to be used, but like I think a lot of people forget that these some of these people are just bodies. Niggas got to die. Yeah, they're yeah. they're the can- cannon. It's it's called cannon fodder. Yeah, cannon like fodder. like you you just need niggas to take the blow. I think it makes sense that we're getting X Men around this time because I think that Secret Wars and I guess King Dynasty is going to serve as like a soft reboot, kind of like a new beginning for the MCU, uh, which I like because shit's been a little messy. No. Like I think like a big part of Secret Wars is gonna play into the other world that we already saw. Mm-hmm. Like even like maybe it's like that world and the regular timeline that's having the incursion, and they're just like fuck it, like, we gonna duke it out. Like we just gonna make sure. I feel like that world is gonna have more of an impact, while the world that we just saw is really just gonna be like this. Is how Monica Rambeau's gonna get back, and those niggas are probably gonna be the casualties. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. Cause you already built up like animosity. You got smoke with the with the Crip MCU over there. Like they got beef over there. Like you done that that little wish came and smoked us. Now we need to get a lick back. Apparently, like Deadpool, he gonna go over there too, and they gonna still want smoke. And they they not taking no newcomers. They not taking no new people from no new timeline. Damn. And apparently, it's gonna be Magneto since Charles is gone. It's gonna be like Magneto, Beast. But I wonder if it's gonna be like a new Beast. Cause I also so, so that world, so so you're saying that the world that Monica Rambeau I, got in, that's the same world that the Illuminati no, was in. It's a different world. I think okay. that's just gonna be a world to take a hit. Like, oh, where's Monica Rambeau? Secret Wars come, so it's multiple verse, multiple verses, multiple universes. So she pops up, uh, uh-huh. you know, and they could just die. Like, oh, because we need people to die anyway. We can't kill all our main characters. I wonder. I wonder if anything that the TVA has. I wonder if the TVA has to do with. Incursions, I don't think they do, but because yes, it's but then they're gonna try to help it, yeah. right? You they're gonna try to help it help incursions happen or help, stop, help stop it because supposedly they said uh, there's a report that uh, then the next um, the next Doctor Strange movie is gonna have the TVA in it. Apparently, Deadpool Deadpool's going around doing what he's doing because of the TVA because he's been hired by the so TVA? the TVA is like probably Loki. gonna be in uh, the Deadpool Wolverine movie because that's why Deadpool he's saying because apparently that's why he's fighting multiple. Okay, so apparently they're supposed to be looking for the prime Logan, like how the Loki we got is the prime... Prime Loki? Loki. Oh, shit. And my theory is the prime Logan is going to be the one... He's going to realize the prime Logan is the one in our Earth, whoever that is. So you're going to go through all the Logans. You might even get to Logan, and he realizes that Logan needs to die. Like, that Logan needs to be by himself. He needs to finish the story out in the movie that we saw. Then you might get one from oh. X-Men 1... Where he's still like new to the shit. So what you're telling me is, ugh, this is so fucking. They're retconning. They're this is a very big possibility that mm-hmm. the Logan movie with him fucking dying, they could retcon that. They and could they could bring Hugh Jackman back to where he was. See, at least to be in the movie. Could, but I think they're gonna bring a Hugh Jackman that's from another world that's not Logan. But or, I do think they're not. gonna see the old man Logan one. Or not though, because. You know, that's or you the place Logan. Him back in time. That's the Logan, and he dies, right? Mm-hmm. But the Loki that the Loki that we saw in the original Loki, oh, another timeline. He, gets, he ended he gets up dying out. too. You know, but they the, they went back to 2012 to get the Tesseract. That Loki from the past, but took the Tesseract and disappeared, See, and that's the Loki okay. that we saw right. in in, in Loki, which created a split. a split. You know what I mean? Oh, so okay. it's going to be a situation similar to that. So then he's really not. If we're really on a technicality, the Loki that's holding that's holding the that tree together is not Prime Loki then, unless he is and he's split off from a from a different timeline. Well, no, a Prime Loki don't mean you can't be from a split timeline. It just means that you're in the. Technically, you're in a world that, in combo logic, is you're in the world that revolves around you. You're the main nigga, basically. You could kind of say Iron Man from our world would be the prime Iron Man. He's he was the most important Iron Man, maybe in other multiverses. Mm. That Loki is the prime Loki because he was way more important than any other Loki was in their timeline. Interesting. So maybe the prime Wolverine has a destination, like oh, we need prime Wolverine because he is necessary to stop the war. Or some dumb shit. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 right. So you don't Secret know. Or Secret Rose isn't exactly about like 
that that's what Secret Wars is about. So, it's yeah, about so, like the TVA is like trying to prune so they don't get a Nathaniel Richards again. Mm-hmm. So we don't get a K again. So we don't get a multiversal war. Yeah. But someone is going to try to stop the TVA from doing what they're doing mm-hmm. because they're they're taking Sylvie's kind of like mm-hmm. ideology and being like, why can't you? You can save them all. But like, we're, we have saved them all. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker. And we don't know who's going to be the one side. It could be Doom. Yeah. It could be the Illuminati. Like, it, and then right. what, what movie did you say that they're, it's about them finding. Uh, Antimanium or, or whatever. Adamantium. Yeah. Uh, Falcon. Okay. So then, so the next uh, the one Captain that, America movie, which I think is very weird. They're doing a lot of this Wolverine based stuff. Yeah. So it might be like depending on Deadpool being the first movie, it could be like at the very end. Oh, oh, the the last destination possible is Earth, whatever the, that Earth is, and then you see Eclipse and Sub Falcon, where they're like, oh, we have this project called the. A weapon X program, and then it goes into huh? the, it goes into Falcon, mm-hmm. which is already supposed to be talking about Animanium and, and, right. and then, Super and then Soldier we get, Serum, and we get the super, and then we get the um the kind of like Terminator Team Terminator X kind mm-hmm. of like that like kills mutants and everything, and the government's gonna like essentially shoot its own. And if film. you want to get crazy, like if he's supposed to be fighting the Thunderbolts in that all. Deadpool joins the Thunderbolts. So maybe the post credit Deadpool joins the Thunderbolts because he's trying to understand what this Weapon X program is. And he's just you could do a lot of shit. Also, Marvel might just be like, fuck it. Ha 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 ha. Wolverine. Comedy. Jokes. I don't think he's they He's going to get beat up by Captain Marvel. I don't think they will. Ha 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 ha. Isn't that so funny? I think that'd be a, a, a very, very, very bad mistake on their part. Just bring Hugh Jackman in from another world. It's a, it's, okay. very, it's a very big possibility because this was supposed to be the last Deadpool movie, right? Mm-hmm. This is the most recent Deadpool movie. And like, Deadpool... Even in like, because there's video games based on it. Even in the video games, the voice acting of Ryan Reynolds is fucking insane. <laughs> and like the stupid shit yeah. that he does, like he breaks the fourth wall multiple times in mm-hmm. the game. In, in the, you know, I think it's one of the first or second Deadpool games. Holy shit. I want to see him and uh, She-Hulk interact. I think we will. That's just, that's just going to be ridiculous. I think we will. They're not even going to be looking at each other. They're going to be looking at us talking. Yeah, I, th- I think it should, should should gonna be making sense soon though, and I think that after like the soft reboot, we're gonna be left with, you know, we're gonna be left with ain't nothing soft here, baby. We're gonna be left with uh, Fantastic Four. Right. There's, there'll be no more really Avengers. We're gonna be left with Fantastic Four, X Men, uh, start of the X Men, right. Thunderbolts, and then eventually we'll get the Midnight Suns. Or, which if, is or be if we do interesting. get in Avengers, we'll probably probably Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, they'll probably, probably still like, be in Avengers. Be the Young yeah. Avengers, like, probably like a. Like a could be Young Avengers or like yeah, the New, the new West Avengers, Coast. West West Coast Avengers. Yeah. West West Coast. I say you do Young Avengers until you get all the right niggas and you do the all new Avengers. I want to see Spider Man on the team, Wolverine on the team, Luke Cage as the leader. I need I need the new because that whole thing was yes. like, all right, we gonna stop doing all this bullshit. We're gonna pick the most popular characters in the Avengers, like DC does the Justice League. So it was Luke Cage, Wolverine, Spider Man, Iron Fist, Daredevil. Damn. It was like the niggas. That'd be, that'd be stacked. That would be pretty that'd crazy. That'd be fucking stacked. You know what I mean? That'd like be crazy. To fight who, though? Because eventually, they, you know, not because they're going to run out of villains, but they're going to run out of the main villains. That's, that's, when, that's when the fun shit comes. Well, I mean, that's, Galactus, go, we're going to see Galactus soon enough. So, to, I'm sorry. To me, this is like, Avengers is like surface level threat, like yeah. earth level threat. And then once you get like, I, that's why I found it, that's why I found like Spider-Man weird because like, Spider Man like went up and is not on Earth anymore. Mm-hmm. So that means that like any character can become that kind of like yeah. galactic level. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. I'm no longer worried about the streets of New York. I'm worried about like the safety and like of the world of like the human race. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is like we haven't touched on the Eternals yet, and like the shit that happens in the Eternals at the end of that movie, and how they're gonna get judged by like. We have Galactus is gonna fucking yeah. come up, bro. Yeah, and you, yeah, you like he's gonna so. pull the fuck up, and when he does, holy fucking shit, the Eternals is gonna make so much sense. And, and then they could also use Avengers not as like a team, but as like okay, when this is an Avengers movie, that means everybody in Marvel's teaming up. Yeah. So like they could really do like X Men could be like, oh, we're fighting Magneto, we're fighting uh Hellfire Club, and then Avengers Age of Apocalypse because it takes everyone to fight Apocalypse. 
Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You can, and, you can and, do shit like and, that. And, like, and motherfuckers get cooked. Yeah. And we lose like, come on, I can't run no, We lose man, like you Storm. Do the, we lose. Um, wait, we why, lose. Why, why are you saying the black women? Yeah, yeah. No, you, why, why you go straight we to lose the black Carol women? Danvers. We, we why, lose, yeah, why, why, why can't no, we right, lose? Right, uh, we can't lose Wasp. Wait, you know what I mean? We, you went straight we to, the, wasp, to the to the black queens. Okay, you know? wait, wait, wait. We lose. Nigga wasp. said Queen Ramonda. <laughs> Bring her crazy. back to life just to kill her. Just to kill her is crazy. <laughs> She's one of the four horse with apocalypse. I, 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 well, Go back so, in time and kill so, Rosa Parks. Right. No, wow. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wow. That'd be, That'd be like the most like despicable thing. Apocalypse going back in time and said, get in the back of the bus. <laughs> what? I said. Get off the bus. What? What? Damn. What I was we, planted here. What did this come to? Oh my God. What did this pop up? Um, yeah, I mean we're gonna we're gonna lose motherfuckers, man. We're gonna lose people. I'm ready for the deaths, and man. I'm Shout ready, out to my I'm man uh, Chris. Because like because if, if DC if Marvel is anything con- concerned with how DC is gonna play it, um DC should get dark very fast. And man, Marvel should get dark. DC needs to clip everything that's not that Batman. If I'm MCU, Correct. I'm not worried about DC yet. <laughs> I all. gotta see some results. Yeah. Because all this shit that we've been seeing is nice and cute. It's cute now. I like yeah. James Gunn. You, you gotta show me. You gotta show me because I do not trust DC in the slightest, bro. And it's the same thing with the Madam Web shit, bro. I don't trust Sony. It looks so, so I, good. It though. looks good. The Madam Web movie looks good. But I it's Sony. It's gonna be some at no, least gonna bro. be some bad writing or some Listen shit. Listen to me. Listen to me. Madam Web is gonna clear up the entire thing with um with fucking what's his name? The, Venom? No. Um, Miles? No. Spider-Man? Yes, but <laughs> Spider-Man 2099. What's his fucking name? I forgot his name. Spider-Man 2099. It's fucking Miguel. Oh, Miguel O'Hara's know. bitch ass. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. going to explain all that. And it's going to yeah. connect absolutely everything. And See, I don't believe this. Uh, Taj did the same shit. Which I don't cool. believe all this shit's going to... Like, Taj, you think the game, everything ties mm. in together. I don't know. And I don't think so. so all right, so no. what, what's going to be the end result of that? What's going to be the end? That's a wonderful question. Um, <laughs> so, like, at the end, I, I assume that maybe, like, a Shattered Dimensions movie? Is that what this is leading to? If that's no. what Sony wants to do. This is... Excuse, here's the thing. A is Sony that, Shattered Sony, Dimensions is movie? Like, Sony not- is the only... Sony has, Sony has sole property of Spider-Man as of right now. They need to pump out as much fucking content as they possibly can. So yeah, I mean, shattered dimensions would be a thing, or to see, um, to see a symbiote, um, from a from a different, you know, from a different multiverse, come in and absolutely wreck the human race. And we have the Spider Man here. We have Spider Man in kind of like a like a survival type kind of fucking situation where he has to like, he has to figure out, or he has to go back in time or some shit, manipulate time, and then. Miles could probably be, I don't know, be head of the fucking, the, the coalition of fucking Spider-Man. And he's like, um, fucking no, don't touch time. I don't know. I, I say. You don't I think s- all this shit going to connect? No, I think they're just about to just show you who Spider-Man the Sony universe is about to be. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking too. I feel like it's just going to be Andrew Garfield. Yeah, like which could be. And I think it's going to be, it's Andrew Garfield going to be Spider-Man for Venom. You know the fucking Morbius movie that they did, and I, they'll, they'll probably do like a Sinister Six. I see, is, I see, I do see fine. Tom Holland jumping over there when it's time to do the Null story, because he'll have the symbiote then, and they already introduced the Hive Mind. And when time the war is coming, the Venom symbiote will be like, "I, right, it's a war, nigga. We gotta go." And he's gonna be like, "What, nigga?" He's gonna be like, "It don't matter what you say, nigga. I'm gonna take you there." And he's he gonna be there, and then he's gonna be like, "I gotta go home." And you're going to be like, all right, we can take you home, bitch ass nigga. And that would be a, a wonderful time, <laughs> right? And while he's gone, that would be a wonderful Imagine time. Imagine a black symbiote. <laughs> it would be a wonderful time for um, Miles Morales to take to, up to the mantle up. as Spider-Man. I truly think Miles Morales, if it's going to show up anywhere, will show up in the MCU. And when that happens, people are going to go fucking crazy. Might be both. I think, I think it'll be both. I think it'll be MCU. I really feel like it is. You think you think Peter Parker, you think Tom Holland is going to show up with, I don't know, fucking Caleb McLaughlin and I'll, be like, yo, this is the new Spider-Man. I'll, no, I'll call I it now. Spider-Man, what, what's it going to be for now? Spider-Man, Spider-Man 5, four. he will meet Miles. I think it's going to be, I think it'll be two different Miles because I don't think that Sony's going to mess up that bag. And I also think that 
um, Marvel's going to, MCU going to want their own. So I, I think they might have two different ones because they're going to already, with Madam Web and then with Secret Wars, I think everything will be figured out by then. So you'll have the Sony universe and you'll have the MCU universe. And I think that, I don't think it's going to be like a shared Miles like they do with Spider Man. You know I, I mean, know, I think man. It's gonna be, if there's going to be two different Spider Man, it's going to be two different Miles, I think. I'll, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think so either because they're they're building Miles to be kind of like like he's the anomaly, right? He's yeah. the anomaly. He's boom, almost boom, modern day. He's boom, almost boom, boom. just the Spider Man. Yeah, he's the anomaly. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever. He takes control of like the citadel of like Spider People. He's. I think he's going to be the one to stop incursions from happening in his kind of like multiverse. And I think he's going to become an ally to so, whoever needs it in the multiverse. So you think he'll show up in both? I think it's a very high possibility, and I think, and I think it would be, it would be a giant fuck up on both of their parts not to do that because they have to merge the universes at some point. You have no, to. You no, have. You don't. I, I think so. I don't think. I don't think you should. I no. think so. If Sony has the rights to Spider Man, let them do their own shit. I don't like when shit mixes because Sony get your keep your stench over there, and the MCU get your shit right here. And the Sony, if they have the rights to Miles. They are not going to share. They're going to want their own fucking miles. I don't think so. I think they're smarter than that. I think they're way smarter than that. Because you can't... How are you going to do miles when you really don't have the majority of the people for him to fight? He's going to fight Craven and Venom and... And that's it? Vulture that came from, from what you call it. Like... I think I, I think, think they're running out of shit to do. Now think about this: if Spider-Man. MCU had Miles, right, and he starts off regular Miles, like the Spider-Man game, he's training with Peter Parker, and you you do some movie where he dis a fucking Pierce, and he ends up where the Sony verse. Now you can do the oh I'm jumping in different dimensions and shit, and he's gone from the MCU or vice versa. You could do Peter that way while Miles is actually in the MCU being Spider-Man. And then he comes back. There's ways to do it if you if you want to like go back and forth. But I, I just I truly think they're just gonna do the exact same deal because it's still Spider Man at the end of the day. I wouldn't be surprised if the contracts already like Spider Man, not Peter Parker, not Miles Morales. We work, we have a deal for Spider Man. I can see that happening, but I can also see that it'll be two separate since since they're gonna have their own Spider Man anyway. I I could definitely see if there's two different Miles. Only way I see that happen is literally Sony's like, all right, you got Peter Parker, so we got Miles. I think I think they're doing the exact same thing that um, you remember at the end of Miss Marvel, how she like sneezes, and then Miss Marvel ends up in space, mm-hmm. and Brie Larson is is like the on, start of the Marvels. Yeah, it's yeah. like the start of the Marvel, whatever. I think that you can have them kind of like switch and coexist, and I I like. The idea that Quan's bringing up, but I'm also gonna agree with Justice because we do have like that kind of like split timeline where Prime Loki isn't exactly the one who died in 2012, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He's he's the one who who tried to take the Tesseract, took it. TVA was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. And now he's the one yeah. in charge of the storylines. Yeah, right now. I'm not saying that it's just gonna be Sony having Miles. I'm, I think I think they're gonna have their. I think it's gonna be two separate ones. I, th- I, I I honestly think that I think that the the last Spider Verse movie is going to lead to maybe a live action one for Sony, and I think that the MCU Miles is going to be completely separate. I honestly do. I think it's I think it's going to be two separate ones because I I don't think that too much bread. Miles, that's a hot commodity right now, bro. I think Miles though. I mean, that's why I, I just think like because I also like Sony makes the most money off of the MCU movies. That's how they fund their movies. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. why wouldn't you want Miles to make the most money possible by giving it to the MCU? I still, I still think Sony's gonna want their own. I guess Miles movie, even though they have that with like, you know, crossing into the Spider Verse and shit. But I think they're gonna want to do like a live action. There's so many people you could do. Just think about this: they could technically do a live action, twenty ninety nine. They could. They don't True. really need to use Miles. You know There's more Brandon Miles though. You know that. It's bread you know and Miles. are going to but, see the Miles but movie. This is the, the problem is movie. the the bread and Miles lies in between who is producing the movie. In what in what way? In what fashion? A Sony Miles movie is what a Sony movie. A mm-hmm. MCU Miles movie is a Miles movie. Yeah. Mm. Just like he said, he don't want to see no Sony shit. 
Yeah. No matter what you pay, if once that hits Sony, it's this is not a Spider Woman movie. This is not. It's three different Spider Women. This is not a multi Spider movie. This is a fucking Sony movie. No matter what it is, I'm, I'm just projecting the fact that we're getting Madden Web. I think it's gonna we're gonna end up getting a whole different Spider Man just for Sony. That Spider Man is gonna have his own villains. I think the same thing is gonna happen to Miles. I think it's gonna be the Sony Miles, and then I think we're gonna get. I think the, the I think Miles. the problem with the MCU Miles is that now people are expecting this kind of like multiversal. Uh, experience when watching Miles. God damn it. So when you have a Miles that is grounded, not in the multiverse, but into act something that actually happens to him as a, as a backstory, mm-hmm. you know how like all the three of the Sony Marvel, Sony uh, Spider-Man movies were essentially just like his, like his origin story. Yeah. Right? And they kind of like Tabula Rasa. They like, they like completely like, slash everything that happened or like they're like here you start over you start new again we're not going to get the same miles treatment that we get with the third movie i think the third movie is going to wrap up miles and that's going to be his or his entire origin story is dealing with all this multi multiversal shit mm-hmm. so when you have a miles that doesn't have that history as of right now, for Marvel, I have no idea how the fuck they're going to do that. Oh, okay, and, and as, how the fuck they're going to do their own I got Miles. a question. As as a live action Miles, do you think he needs to be a multiversal p- person? Because I don't play Spider-Man 1 and 2. I don't seen great stories with him without being yeah. into, the, into the Spider-Verse. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, do he have to be into the Spider-Verse, Miles, to I work? Think- I think it needs to I think it needs to relay and what Marvel is doing with Loki being the keeper of the stories and the storyteller, the story keeper, I think that there has to be some sort of comic book adaptation that they can take from. And I haven't read the comics. You guys are comic fiends. I guess I need to start reading them more often, but I don't think there's enough source material for Miles right now Mm -hmm. that they can take from as inspiration without pulling some shit out of thin air. That's probably going to connect to maybe the X-Men at some point, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I think they have more story for the Prowler. Why is why also I think why Miles will show up because if you, especially if you bring in Kingpin, Prowler could work for the Kingpin. Oh, shit. Right? So usually what happens is Prowler will work for the Kingpin. Right. Spider-Man be like, hey man, you're not that bad of a guy. He realizes that and he works for Spider-Man for a little bit, which would be a perfect introduction if Miles ever showed up. How'd he get to know Spider-Man? His f- freaking uncle helps Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they never in the combos, they never connect all those dots. They just randomly like, oh no, nah, this is just a coincidence that the the uncle the, the nephew of the person that helped Spider-Man yeah. got bit by a spider. Right. When in a movie, they usually flush shit out. Way better. Look, it, it it don't gotta make a police sense, bro. Because at the end of the day, you know, Sony has their own venom. That venom is not gonna be in the MCU. But I think we right. will see a venom in the MCU. You know what but I mean? But it's not like how you said, which is gonna be two different ones. That venom did cause the whatever, no matter who it is, is the reason why there will be a venom in the MCU. I mean, so that's fine. it does play a part, no matter what. You know what I mean? It like, can be con- connected in a sense. I don't think the MCU miles. Is going to be the Sony Miles. I think, I don't the think Sony. The you know who I think the Sony Miles is? The one we've been fucking watching, the one in the cartoon. It's gonna stay the one in the cartoon. Nah, I think it's gonna end up being. I, I think Sony going. I think Sony going gonna be like, nah, we need this live action. I, I'll be honest with you, bro. Even if it's just one, a one off movie, I think we gonna see it, bro. I, I think we gonna see it. Yeah, no, because they need to make bread. Like they might make like a Spider Man's movie. You know what I mean, like the Garfield with the, with the Sony Miles. You know what I mean, Maybe, might make fucking Jaden Smith play Miles. I wouldn't be mad at that. Have Garfield train him, and then like mm-hmm. he leaves the Sony verse, or like they do a conversion, and they that world is ending. Yeah, yeah, right. And then and they, then they're like, and he's like, how mad and, and, and wouldn't it be tough if, if Andrew was like, I I won't live, but I can save you. I can get you out of here. I can get you to the to, to the Earth that's gonna survive. And then he's on the real Earth, like how they did in the comic books. Oh shit. I don't know. We'll That'd be a good way to merge them. But let's but. like like I said, with Marvel, they can be like, ha 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 ha, Miles died. Right. Laughs and jokes. Well, there'll be another Miles. You know, bullshit. Exactly. You know, yeah. Who and, knows? And that's, we'll they see. can pull some bullshit like that. That's why I'm looking forward to the Batman real cinema. What is that coming? Is yeah. that this year? That's this year, right? 
Something in the way. It's not. I think we got a long time. I think we got like two years. Mm. So 2025? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be fire, though. This year's the Joker. Clayface. This Mr. Year's, Freeze. This year's, this year's the Joker. Hush. Right? They should bring what's his face back for Mr. Freeze. Yeah, it's the Joker, yeah. They Ooh. should bring uh, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's disgusting, bro. That's a crazy uh, casting. The bro. ice. He they didn't even they had Bane in that movie and put, Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't Bane. I want you to know that. What happened? They I had, would, Ar- I would they want had Arnold Bane. Schwarzenegger be Bane. I feel like he'd be a better Bane than he would be Iceman. He got me there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? Who, who, so who'd you, you cast? You adopted the doc. I <laughs> that's actually a pretty good impression. I live in it. <laughs> so who'd you cast to play Bane? Damn, I think back in the day. Wait, no, you mean Doctor Freeze? No, I'm talking. Oh, I'm talk- I said Bane. I meant right now. Oh, currently, yeah. Currently, who would be a Bane? Vin <laughs> Diesel. You need a rock type of <laughs> nigga. You know what I mean? You need Vin, a rock Vin nigga. Vin Diesel. Like a- Vin Diesel would be. Oh. Nah, he don't got the muscles, bro, at all, bro. Like you need a. Uh... He's someone who's gonna yeah. have some good monologues, bro. Bane be talking. One- Vin yeah. Diesel do not be talking, bro. Rock could really do it. Rock could be Bane, but I would I appreciate someone Hispanic. Facts, facts. Batista could do it. Batista don't want to have muscles no more. Batista doesn't want it. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. Yeah, he's not on that time. He's not on that time. There's this guy, he he plays. Cain Velasquez. Really just beat a nigga up. He's old, though. though. Um, What's his face? Man, Chuck Liddell. It. Man, fuck it. Have it be George Lopez, goddammit. Yo, oh, George God. Lopez. George Lopez is Bane. Would as be fucking Bane insane. is the craziest thing. I don't know. So There's this guy, he's he's playing Reacher right now. I'll pull him up. He's playing Reacher right now on Amazon Prime. This nigga is brolic. I see you not. I know what he's talking about. I wouldn't like him for Bane, but I think he could play a girl like Col- Colossus. Now, if you're doing a CGI Bane, like you're making him abnormally big, then Batista still works. Yeah. Alan yeah. That nigga, oh. that nigga play a, a Colossus. Oh, he also played a uh, Hulk in uh, Teen, Teen okay. Titans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking brolic, bro. Like, look at this nigga. Yeah, he's pretty brolic. How is the Reacher? Good show? I definitely it's think great. he's going to... I bet he's going to be someone in the DCU, though. I really feel he like he's going to be, be someone. He has to be. Because yeah, we'll if, like, if, like, Invincible, like, crosses over into, like, DC, that's that's really what I'm excited for. For Invincible to cross over into DC and fuck some kids up, bro. Or fuck some superheroes yeah, well, why, why up. Why you to fuck the kids yeah, up? Yeah, that was, that was weird, bro. Yeah, my, 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 my apologies. Yeah, <laughs> shit, man. Okay, that was the pod. Uh, that was definitely something. The Coquito guys acting wild. Uh, right, so, uh, no more Coquito. No more. Thank you guys for watching. Double Thank spike Coquito listening. next pod. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, share, subscribe, send this to everybody. Don't touch me. Send this to everybody for the Spotify and Apple listeners. Make sure you follow. Make sure you follow the pod and IG, the Super Villain Show. Underscore subscribe to Super Villain Studios on YouTube. Got a lot of content coming soon. Make sure you follow all of us on IG. Also, make sure you subscribe to Juicebox TV on YouTube for some more great content. And yeah, see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.